everywhere. Oh, that was it. It was Lionel. It was it. Was Matthew wasn't playing very well at the Yeah, not against Lionel. Came up in the selection bit. So against Lionel. JP Mobley, partnered by William G, against Jose Alvarez Sala and Gonzalo Alvarez Sala. So JP and Will last played together at British Open doubles last year. Uh, they finished runners up on that occasion, losing out to Reg Bamford and Richard Bilton in the final. Jose and Gonzalo, despite being brothers, haven't played doubles many occasions before, um, but they do have a very good understanding of each other's games. So we'll, uh, we're just watching the players uh, warming up at the moment, we would expect the action to get underway for about five minutes or so. Um, we are, uh, as you can probably hear from the ambient microphone, um, hassled by the flight path to Heathrow, so hopefully that won't enjoy your enjoyment of what is so, while we're watching the players warm up, just to give you a rundown of the other doubles partnerships you'll be seeing later on in the weekend, England's second pairing is myself and Stu Smith. Uh, we've never actually played together before, uh, although we have played against each other on, on quite a few occasions. Uh, I have to say, with Stu coming out on top uh, on most of those, so very much looking forward to playing with him later in the weekend. Our third pairing is Stephen Molliner and Richard Bilton. They are a tried and tested successful doubles partnership. They first played together in the 2018 Open Doubles, also played in the 2019 Open Doubles. In addition, they played in the first test match with Spain back in March of 2019. Where they actually won all of their games, so we'll hope for a repeat of that performance on this occasion. So we're allowed to be biased like that. Oh um, well, I'm, I'm shamelessly supporting England. I think, but, I think uh, you're, you're allowed to. You, you, you can balance out the commentary. I'll, I'll try and balance out the commentary uh, for the sake of our Spanish viewers. Um, Aston sitting here in his in his England shirt, and uh, obviously we'll have to forgive him for that. Um, so the just to run through the, the Spanish side, um, we, uh, you'll see on the programme that there are four uh, Spanish players sharing the same surname, the Alvarez Sala, um, Jose and Gonzalo, who we are seeing practising in front of the moment, um, are, are brothers. Um, to tell them apart, um, for those English people that are not, uh, not so familiar with the Spaniards, um, Jose is, uh, is the fellow in the shorts, and Gonzalo has the long trousers, um, so that's, that's why I'm going to tell them apart. Um, they're the two fellows I don't know. On the next lawn over, playing against uh, Mullina and Bilton, we have Manuel Alvarez Sala and Andres Alvarez Sala. Andres, who beat me last week 
um, 2-0 twice in the uh, European Championships. So um, I'll, uh, I'll hope he's not on such good form for the sake of our, sake of our English team. And then the, the uh, two Spaniards who were delayed in their arrival are Basilio and Iglesias and Pedro Lorenzo, uh, sorry, Lozano. And they will be playing their rubber later this evening. So uh, I think we can uh, just give you a rest from our voices for the moment until the match starts. Uh, the players are gathering over in corner four and we'll see the, the, uh, the balls coming across very shortly. Okay, so our first match is underway. We've got um, England playing blue and black. The uh, blue, blue ball's been put in to a pretty good opening position. And uh, the Spaniards are now deciding their response to that. Um, which for those new to uh, this level of croquet, the decision they're making is whether, whether to take two shots at it or position the red and leave yellow to clear the blue, which would be a good opening shot to get at this early stage in the game. No. So they're going for that second option. So the red's now coming in to be a scoring ball. He's a little short with it. And in actual fact, he may well have covered blue, making his, uh, his partner's shot with yellow a tricky one. We'll see. So the other important decision at the start of a game of doubles uh, for the second player is to decide which of their pairing is going to play. Uh, it's usually an advantage to play the first ball in towards hoop one, uh, but that is balanced out by the strategic advantage of the second players choosing the order of play. So the Spanish have decided for Gonzalo to play in second as red, and we're now going to see Jose play yellow in potentially shooting at blue here. And 
that was close but not close enough so this should be first blood to England with the blue and it's captain JP Mobley with the first hoop shot of the game. Whilst JP settles himself for that, so those of you uh, watching on the YouTube link can enable the, uh, the chat down the, so the right-hand side of the, uh, the screen. And we're getting quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, comments coming up. We've got a useful one here from Eugene Burridge. Good, uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, Eugene. Commentary could do with being turned up a bit. Can hardly hear over the sound of the lawn. So, uh, Eugene, our technical man, is going to have a look at that. We'll try and sort that one out for you. So, 1 0 to England. And uh, JP has signalled there. I don't know if you saw JP putting his thumb up in the air to Will. Red's come in, and JP's got his thumb up, presumably telling Will, I can see that red ball, and leave it to me. Okay, well that must surprise me. I thought uh, I thought JP was saying he had red covered. Maybe that's not the case. So uh, Will was forced to shoot at blue there. Sorry, shoot at uh, the red. Yellow there would have been aiming to get wide from black. Unfortunately, just gone about a yard too far. So we'll now find out how much of red JP can see. is probably uh, not enough. Nice smooth hoop stroke there from Gonzalo to quickly level out the scores to one all. So here we've got England putting putting the pressure on with two scoring balls. Uh, Gonzalo now forced to forced to shoot at something. It uh, looks like he can see the black.
so we could. Just out of your shot is um, court two over to the right hand side where we've got uh, Stephen Mulliner and Richard Bilt um, Stephen Mulliner and Richard Bilton taking on Manuel and Andres uh, Alvira Sala and the score there is one all so uh, both games proceeding in tandem. Bit of a let off from JP there, just putting blue ever so slightly past the hoop. Red now still forced to clearing black. And England really winding the pressure in now. The, the clearances have to be made by Spain. And uh, at that distance, the centre ball clearance is hard to achieve. Meaning the striker's ball disappears off to quite often a greater distance than the cleared ball. And Spain are forced to shoot again for ever increasing distances. So England playing the long game here just waiting for the Spanish era. So we can see a number of you uh, following it on the on the live chat. Just seeing to see if there's a, a number that we can see how many people are tuned in. How many followers do we have, uh, Aston? Can you see 59 of you? Well, uh, good afternoon to all 59. And uh, looked up just in time to see that. It was a fantastic shot. It's pretty well sent to ball clearance there, which allowed um, the yellow ball of uh, Jose to stay uh, stay in the vicinity, so this moves things, uh, changes the dynamic slightly. Still, red's got to. Uh, still, red has probably got to deal with with the with the blue this time. Black having yellow covered, probably to the uh, to right over the corner too, to give the longest shot possible for yellow. Yes, unfortunately that shot from Jose was actually a little bit too good. Perfect centre ball, so yellow didn't make it off the lawn, uh, which has given black this in-lawn clearance if red misses. And that's just about enough. So blue no longer has a hoop on. Yeah, 
Yes, so Tim King saying in the chat that the Spanish have brought the weather with them. They have indeed. Uh, it's actually far too hot for my liking here. Um, fortunately, nicely in the shade of the commentary tent for the moment. Just while there's a lull in proceedings, uh, we should thank the technical staff of Hurlingham who've uh, done a great job in setting up all this comment, all this uh, photog uh, I'm sorry, yes, the setting up all the technical stuff. I was using is setting up the uh, using Chang from the Croquet Association is setting up a second camera for us, so I'm slightly distracted there. But we should thank the uh, Hurlingham technical staff for uh, for setting all this uh, broadcasting equipment up in the first place. And uh, while we're at it, the uh, lawn setters that we've just got perfect conditions here. The uh, the lawns are lightning fast, as you can see. The hoops are set much tighter than most of you would have at your clubs. Um, for this level of play to give the players a proper challenge. They're not perhaps as firm as, uh, as we would uh, ideally like, but nevertheless uh, a challenge they are. We're using today the Atkins Quadway hoops. Now, they'd be unfamiliar to many of you. You'll notice they're not painted. They're uh, just uh, presented in brushed aluminium um, with uh, obviously the red and the, white top, uh, red and the blue tops added on. Um, these were developed in, um, in New Zealand over the last few years and are used extensively in, the, uh, in Australasia. They really come into their own when the ground is rock hard. Um, they become incredibly difficult to run and present a real challenge for the top players. In our British soil, um, they're less successful, um, but uh, just uh, the, the point of note, they're called Atkins Quadway. They have square carrots, if that's not um, if that's not a strange concept. I think they actually call them parsnips. The idea being that they grip the ground much uh, in a much more solid way and present more of a challenge to the players. Okay, so just, just off the top of your view there, Captain JP discussing with Will their best options, they've, uh, they've got a plan here, so um, this is the centre ball clearance to inherit the position, not quite Will, so uh, blue is still left open for yellow to clear. The other option Yellow might have here is to take on the seven yard hoop. Um, it's a relatively low percentage shot, but it's difficult to see when Red and Yellow will generate a better hoop shot in the near future, so they may look to go for the hoop shot immediately. And indeed, uh, indeed it, looks, uh, it looks like that's what... Um, it's Gonzalo, is it? Uh, Jose. That's Jose, Jose with the cap. Yeah, and that's got a it. lovely shot. That is a lovely shot. Well played. So two one Spain. And meanwhile on court two, England hold the same lead. Two one. Blue might have been looking to get wide position from yellow there. Um, it 
hasn't got it, but it is a nice straight hoop shot. Uh, still probably about 10 yards away for yellow to clear. Red looks a little bit close to blue here. Uh, we'll see if that interferes with yellow's clearance at all. And that's unfortunate. It's always quite a sickener when you clear your own ball, but frankly, you've got to go for it. There's no option. Uh, JP has nailed on to score this if you don't go for the clearance. And if you hit your own ball, uh, collateral damage is, uh, is often, this, often the case. Oh man. And now he'll be cross with that one. It was, uh, an uncharacteristic loss there. It's looked to the hoop as though it's the hoop's fault, it's not JP, I'm afraid, man. Can't let you off there. It's not a complete disaster, it's a reasonable rejection from the hoop. Uh, potentially able to jaws later on, uh, but still well within the vicinity of the hoop. Black also has the option of taking on a four, maybe five yard shot, depending on Red's choice here. Interesting choice from Gonzalo that he had uh, nowhere, nowhere to go there really. He's um, pretty much didn't want to go there though. That's uh, an easy, easy clear and hold of position for blue. Depending on black shot here, uh, the positioning of red uh, is probably going to force yellow to take clearance on blue but we'll see what Will can do here with this hoop shot. And uh, same result, we're gonna need that hoop reset. Uh, if these boys carry on like that, that's two hefty thumps. I don't know if you saw the hoop move, I did. Absolutely, um, yep. Moved a long way there, didn't it? Yeah. For me, here we see an example of the, uh, the patient play that uh, exists at this level. Uh, no attempt there to, uh, to, to block blue on red. They're sacrificing red. Trying to maintain position. But then the value of the centre ball clearance from JP. Well, and this one's a bit 50-50. Spain of the advantage in the uh, in, in keep coming back first, but the, but the clearances are bread and butter for the England side.
not an ideal contact there. Uh, sending yellow a little bit close to blue. Uh, he now potentially has the opportunity to centre ball this and stay with reasonably good hoop position. We're just going to say hello as your commentary team. We've got a cam camera set up, so hello everybody. So thank you all very much for tuning in. We've got Eugene Shang in the background here, who has very kindly come down for the day. Uh, he's the mastermind behind the CA's live streaming program. So we're, come and say, come yeah, say hello. Very Eugene. grateful. Come and say hello, Eugene. Here. So come all the way down from Sheffield today to set this up for us. So uh, thank you very much, mate. That's all right. Good effort. Hi to everyone on the screen. Hope you're all enjoying the the uh, commentary that this excellent team are putting out here. Uh, we're doing our best with the setup, trying to get up a couple of cameras and get everything nice and slick. Um, so it's all a bit different from 2019, uh, but hopefully you're enjoying the quality of the stream and obviously just keep keep the comments coming in, keep watching us and keep sending us loads of feedback. Right, we'll return you to the croquet now. And there was a... A far, from, a far from easy clearance missed by JP there, giving Spain this uh, shot to uh, to go three one up. And again, this is a troublesome hoop, so uh, that's three failures. So the softer approach there from uh, Gonzalo, still. Uh, Still hitting the outside wire, he'll be disappointed with that. So it's a, it's a reset really now. Um, black is off the off the lawn, the the right post of the balls you can see. I'm aware that looking at the screen, that uh, the picking out the colour of the balls might be tricky um, into the sun. Um, so here we have uh, Will G playing playing the black into position, and he's gone quite deep which is a sensible option. Um, red still has probably a routine clearance, but when he does, he'll be going away from the hoop himself. So um, the idea at this level is really to put the ball where your opponent is forced to make the clearance, but doesn't end up in a good place having done so. That's a nice yellow ball in from from Jose. What he will hope is that he hasn't blocked his own his partner clearance on the red. And uh, Gonzalo is having a having a look at that just off view. Difficult to tell from their body language whether the balls are actually in line or red's got a clearance on black. And then to further complicate matters, um, JP's attempted to cover it himself with the blue. So from our commentary position, it's difficult to see what, uh, what Red's options are. We'll have to try and judge it along with you by the body language of, uh, of, of Jose. Yeah, just out of, your sh out of your shot there, the two Spaniards are both crouched down having, having a look so whatever they can see, it's very tight. Okay, we were just off commentary a moment there whilst uh, we were sorting out yet another camera um, that we can switch between in a minute or two. And it was clear that uh, JP's blue had done the job in protecting black so that when cleared it, when uh, red, red attempted the clearance, uh, he, got, he got JP's blue. 
and so will here we have and that was the outside of the wire again well no wonder he looks uh, crestfallen there yeah so the difficulty of the quadway hoops can start to get in your head a little bit um, but that shot's not going through on any hoop uh, as chris said outside of the wire so going back to Spain's earlier choice to clear blue um, instead of black, which they potentially couldn't see, uh, that put pressure on Will's shot there with yellow in position to run now. Which he does. Spain then taking a 3-1 lead in this match. Over on lawn two, we are 4-2 up against Spain and just playing over to hoop seven now. And our live feed audience has gone up to 78. So uh, good afternoon to the 20 or so who've joined since last time we checked in uh, tw 20 minutes or so ago. Um, a little bit of home bias here. I'm going to say good afternoon to Paul Franklin and uh, Helena Fensom, who are joining in from my home club at uh, Phyllis Court in Henley. And uh, good afternoon to you both. And the other 71 viewers who are enjoying this lovely day here at Hurlingham. Nick's asking if Will G's had a costume change already. He does seem to have changed his shirt. I'm not quite sure why he's gone for that. But um, let's see if it improves his croquet a little bit. So we're referring there to um, Nick's question. This is in the um, in the commentary, which uh, some of you may have displayed, others not. Uh, for those that are unaware of uh, how you can interact with this broadcast, um, there's a button. If you haven't got it enabled, there's a button uh, down in your bottom right-hand corner, which will display the chat and. Uh, you can contribute as you go along. Um, you can see we've got uh, quite a lot of banter going on between uh, several of the other top players. Um, most of it's complimentary, but uh, meanwhile, let's get back to the action. Very nice cut clearance there from JP, maximising the distance for Red's return shot at black. Just coming into the commentary uh, commentary booth, we'll call it, is um, Tony Bingham, um, the chairman of the uh, the croquet section. Is he not? He's not the chairman of the croquet the section. Chairman. The past chairman of the croquet uh, club here at Hurlingham, and uh, he's been our main uh, uh, our main ho host uh, liaison. So uh, all the hard work that Tony's put in, he's able to stroll around in his fine Hurlingham hat yes. looking at the, uh, the fruit of his labours and he's managed to delegate everything that's a good <laughs> chap <It's> a, <laughs> a mark of somebody who knows what he's doing good afternoon Tony So a perfectly reasonable choice from Gonzalo there, just uh, putting Red into position to put some pressure on Will's shot. Unfortunately, it's just fallen short, I think, so this is a free attempt at the hoop for Will. And he's there. So 3-2 to Spain, we can see a Hurlingham member 
who's volunteered to work the scoreboard over there. Can we give the lady a name check there, Tony? Who's on the scoreboard? Um, on the, scoreboard the scoreboard here? Claire Benson. Oh, it's Claire, oh, of course it is, it's Claire Benson, uh, um, former chairman of Hurlingham. And Peter Arbuthnot is uh, the scorer, scorer over on court two. Uh, sorry, court three. We're, we're numbered the other way around. We're looking at court four with uh, action going on on court three to your right. So the live streaming over the weekend is going to be focused on lawn four here. All of the players will be moving in between the lawns, so you will have the opportunity to watch a little bit of everyone playing uh, throughout the weekend. As Ewan says in the comments, the outfit change has clearly worked for Will. Uh, it's good for him to get his first hoop of the game under his belt there. And that's, uh, that's over hit, uh, Will's shaking his head there. Hasn't quite got the, uh, didn't quite get the pace there down the court. Easy clearance here for, um, for Jose. And now, Again, just out of your view, we're, um, we're just moving cameras a wee bit so you get you a slightly better view. So we're moving our main camera, we've gone to our auxiliary camera. Okay, there's a few people wandering by. Good afternoon, everyone. There we are. Didn't see the sign, not to worry. JP there with a great clearance on red. Uh, unfortunate that he's cannoned off and moved black away from the hoop. We're just on an auxiliary camera at the moment. So uh, a static, static view, slightly further away than we want to than we'd like, so we're trying to improve that with our commentary. You've got uh, yellow deep and uh, red, red in a more favourable position. Both, both score. Blue and black for England. North of the hoop. Is going to place that one just to give uh, Spain something to think about. Has he managed to cover the hoop 
uh, over yellow. He probably has. Yeah, I think I'll just move my position. Just about got the see. block. Chris is going to have a look at that for us. Yeah, I think he's got that block. So, that saved hip shot one. And JP will be confident of his clearance here on the red. So we've just switched back to our main camera now, which has changed position. And so we're looking at uh, JP's clearance on red. So we're now, uh, your view now is from the north boundary and beyond the beautiful uh, Hurlingham main building, right on cue. Uh, we're zooming out to have a look at that. And this is just an absolutely splendid view, is it, is it not? Not quite such a splendid view from the English point of view. Spain look to be uh, bossing this hoop. And uh, are going to be favourites here to increase their lead at the end of this, uh, this cat and mouse round hoop six. Meanwhile, we can uh, look over to um, we can look over to uh, lawn number lawn two, and we can see that England are in a commanding position there. We've got a 6-2 lead over Spain, so uh, closing in on a first game victory there for Mullina and Bilton over the Al Alvedo Sala combination of Manuel and Andres. Andres, however, has just run yellow nicely through the jaws of nine down to position in front of 10. Uh, both Stephen and Richard have offside balls and are sent over to the Western penalty area. So back with, back with our pictures. Again, a slightly, uh, a slightly confusing view that's gonna take you a little while to get used to. You're now looking from the north boundary at Six. Okay, we'll have a perfect straight on view of JP's shot at red here. And just clips that. With blue disappearing pretty much straight north in front of six. That will allow red to come back in to wide position from blue here. So Jose is marking, marking the spot for Gonzalo, where that will be, where his red will be wired from the blue. If he gets it, looks like he's under hit it to me. No, it's rolling on. The fast Burlingham lawns catching me out there. Might just be a little bit short, but the hoop will certainly play in JP's mind there. And again, Will fails to get the centre ball clearance. He's not surprised he's disappointed with that. That's, uh, that's really quite a loose shot. So... Uh, Yellow's been cleared over to the, the west, boundary, west boundary and will doubtless come back in with accuracy to really turn the screw for the, the, uh, the Spanish. And Will has disappeared up uh, way beyond hoop five. When a centre ball clearance was called for there, he just didn't get it at all. Yellow straying past the hoop here provides England with a little bit of hope if JP can hit this clearance on red. And that's a, that's a great clearance. Well played, JP. So the ball's uh, the ball scattered scattered to uh, corner. Corner one for, for for red and corner two for blue, but that's a that's a corking clearance all the same. You're not going to get a centre ball clearance very often at that uh, at that distance, and hitting it with the hoop 
partially obscuring the shot, I'd fancy. Um, really good. JP's asking us where the ball yep. went off. Yeah, I reckon there. That's got it. Yeah. So. And that's a very good ball back in from a from the from the corner one to put the ball there is uh, is really showing that uh, the Spaniards have got the pace of the court here. And I don't know what the, the conversation here is with with Will. And, he might be, for me, considering the hoop shot. He's got, if you can see it, um, yeah, it's a, it, it's, it's a dicey one, but it's difficult to see how England are going to manoeuvre this hoop six contest in their favour. And so there comes a point where the, the long shot of the hoop might well be your best option. Yeah, I think that would be a reasonable choice here. Black opts to take good position in front of the hoop, it'll be cleared immediately by yellow. So if he does want hoop position, he'll have to go deep anyway, and then rely on blue to clear red. So taking on the hoop shot now, whilst he has it, might be a reasonable option. And uh, the body language from Will is uh, certainly suggesting this is on. The people at the far end probably want to, out of your shot here, there's a probably want to watch their ankles and indeed uh, yeah, that's a decent, that's a outcome. decent outcome yeah just moving red away from the hoop so it doesn't have a hoop shot on blacks flicked off at a bit of an angle but it should still be possible for the Spanish players to play in wired from black I have to compliment the uh, probably hurling and members sitting in the seats uh, just behind the camera with the ball flying at them at uh, such a speed. Not one of them flinched even slightly. So uh, either they're very brave or they weren't paying attention. Well, JP <laughs> was sent down there to guard Will's shot, I believe. So. Oh, it was the ball boy. I yeah. see. Uh, yeah, okay. It was the goalkeeper. Got it. Yeah. Yes. We've got fencing uh, around, as you can see, at the far end. And. Uh, I think the intention was that the majority of the spectators would um, would be at the far end of your view, with their backs to the main main building, where we've got the protection. Now I'm a little bit surprised that Jose didn't opt to play yellow in wide from black there. Um, it would have allowed JP to take position, leaving black at yellow for Will. Um, Unfortunately, JP hasn't got position in this case. Um, clearly finding the speed of the lawns to be a challenge in the early stages of this match. So we've got more people joining all the time on this broadcast. We're now up to uh, 87 of you. So uh, call your friends, see if we can get it up to 100. Perhaps we'll be joined, uh, joined by people over lunch. So red here going for the block on black at yellow. Short. Don't think it's blocked yellow at the hoop. Now we've got a the uh, the tendency here for 
for Aston and I is to uh, to commentate live from what we can see. Um, our actual monitor giving us your picture uh, gives us an extra view. So uh, as you can see, black is very open on yellow. And uh, this is a terrific shot you've got here over Will's shoulder. Unfortunately not matched by the execution, but we can't give Will a hard time for that one. That was a, what's that, a good 12, 12 yarder, is it? Yeah, Something like 12 that. yards 12 first, yarder. So. Um, Will will be disappointed by his own standards, but... Um, Jose here with the opportunity to take a 4-2 lead. Which he does. Meanwhile on court two, out of your view, uh, Mulliner and Bilton still lead uh, Manuel and Andres Alvira Sala 6-4. Been a bit of a contest going on at Hoop 12, and uh, it's a shame you can't see this. We're going to jump, jump shot from one of the Spaniards. Uh, didn't really get it off the ground. Got one bounce, and I think that means uh, yeah. Bilton's going to have a tap in yeah. at Hoop 11 for the first game. And uh, over it now, and yes, yep. uh, tap, very well taps played. Over three inches. One nil to England over on court two. Uh, Actually, it's called three. It's isn't it? lawn three court there. Three. We're the uh, other way around. We're currently so. watching on lawn four. <laughs> That's uh, right. But yes, it is flipped round from our perspective. So we'll continue to bring you updates from Stephen and Richard's doubles game when they resume. Uh, meanwhile, back to court four, and Gonzalo has just hit the clearance on blue over at seven. Brief intermission in the commentary there, uh, Eugene kindly offering to go and fetch Chris and I some lunch, so thank you. And the camera as well. Splendid. Okay, so we're back on live with the commentary and with Gonzalo attempting a clearance on blue in front of hoop seven. And that's 
that's a pretty good contact. He sent, uh, he sent blue to right over to the east boundary, and uh, red stopped short of hoop, hoop five and hoop six. So this shot here will give us a good indication of how confident Will is feeling. Um, if he takes the hoop, then that's a good sign. If he takes the clearance, that's fine. Um, that's what he's opted to do. Just uh, keep in the hoop for the moment, slow things down for a little bit. And this is likely to be a long contest uh, at this hoop. Um, the clearance balls can only clear into corner three or thereabouts, making the counter clearance easy with the recipe that a long duel is likely to ensue. So just to recap the score for you, uh, now that we've got the alternative camera view and you can't see the scoreboard, uh, Spain have a 4-2 lead in this doubles match and England have taken the first game over on lawn three. And that's a nice positional shot there with blue from JP. Uh, although I'm expecting yellow to be shifting that fairly shortly. Now we've got a comment on the chat from uh, Chris Barley. Eugene, a drone camera would have a different perspective. Well, that's absolutely true. And uh, Something for Eugene to think about. I'm not quite sure of the uh, legalities of flying a drone over Hurlingham. Red yeah. opting to clear blue there. Uh, I'm not sure that was entirely necessary. Could have just taken position and left yellow to clear it later. But, all the same, it's a safe play. Uh, blue and black now don't have a hoop shot on with either ball. And we've got another comment in the chat a little, a little about, uh, I think it was referring to Will's clearance on yellow, where um, we were discussing the, uh, Aston was discussing the option of uh, the hoop shot or, uh, or the clearance on yellow. And uh, Will went for the clearance. Um, perhaps typically, usually, uh, Ewan. What about the jump? Or it says, or it just says jump? Question mark, Ewan. Um, ever the attacking player, Ewan. Uh, good to have your input as always. So Will hasn't quite got the block on yellow there. Uh, so Jose now with a four-yard hoop attempt at seven to take a 5-2 lead. Okay, he went for the clearance on black. I'm not sure that's necessarily what he was after. Hasn't come off particularly well with yellow disappearing down the lawn. Yeah, surely that, sh that was a hoop shot. That should have been it a hoop a, shot. It was a hoop yeah. shot. I think he just clip, yeah. clipped. Yeah, uh, yeah he, black. he either was, played it badly or went for a questionable choice of tactics there. But uh, I think he was going for the hoop. Yeah. He might have actually been put off by the fact that blue has this clearance on red uh, if he'd missed the hoop, which would have left black with a fairly simple hoop shot. Uh, so in fairness, he might have been going for the clearance on black there. 
although personally I'd have preferred the opportunity to take the hoop shot whilst it was there. And that's a little bit too straight actually. He would have preferred for blue to just hit a little bit more of the left hand side of red and get straight to hoop position. Um, although it is still in a commanding position on the short boundary side of hoop 7. Gonzalo going deliberately deep with red right off the uh, north boundary. Nowhere, nowhere to place his ball in front of the hoop that wouldn't be covered by, by blue. So guarantees blue a difficulty. In uh, if black doesn't get the block, blue has got to try it. And. Uh, Black's overrun slightly, so Red's still got a hoop shot and can't be cleared, it's off the court. The ideal position for Yellow to finish here would be with Black blocking Blue's clearance at it. Um, though from this range that's going to be a very difficult positional shot to pull off. Though it looks like he's shooting at black here. Okay. Well, missing only sends you to the boundary straight in yeah. front of the hoop, so not a disaster. So the money shot here for me is um, blue plays onto the line of red, but close to red, aiming to uh, block red's hoop shot and clearance on black with the same shot. But um, from that distance is a, a tough one to cover both. So red is likely to have a favourable option after this stroke by Blue. And JP's gone a lot further, not covered either. So I'm this sure is where I th think we find out how brave Gonzalo is. And uh, this looks to be a hoop attempt. This looks to be a hoop attempt, and uh, the big prize here. This is for a 5-2 lead. Having turned down a four-yard hoop earlier on, he's now forced into taking this seven-yarder. Uh, just... Uh, Clumping the right hand wire there. So will Will G makes it fourth what was it back uh, the third hoop for England, so it's Spain four, England three. Meanwhile, over on Lawn 3, the match has resumed in Game 2, and England have taken a 1-0 lead. We'll keep you updated on that as it progresses. Louise is asking if the opening ceremony was recorded. Um, I believe it was. Uh, seems it hasn't been put up on the live stream. 
but hopefully that will be part of a video on the CA's YouTube channel uh, shortly when we can get that uploaded. Yeah, that took place just about five minutes, uh, five or six minutes before before play. Uh, there were speeches by the England captain uh, J.P. Mobley and the uh, Spaniard Spaniard captain Jose Alvarez Sala. Both introduced their players, impressively without notes, um, detailing uh, past exploits, all from memory. And uh, Jose, particularly in uh, well, clearly it's not his first language, did a, did a great job introducing his team. OK, so we're just going back to our subsidiary camera, which I'll see if I can manoeuvre around a little bit. So we're now looking, giving you a view from the uh, south boundary. So the the big for those of you who don't know the big Hurlingham building that was in the previous shot is now over your right shoulder. Just centre that round a little bit more for you. Of course, I've just now lost. Uh, Lost Will out of the right hand side. You just see his mallet uh, swing in there. He comes just into view over on the right, looking for a clearance on the blue, on the on the red. The uh, fence that's been put up at this side to uh, protect spectators, just slightly interfering with the stalk there. And that missed by quite a bit to the quite right, a bit, actually. Didn't it? Yeah. Uh, he's, um, He's yet to find his find his uh, find his line. Will at the moment the uh, he's getting a cork, cork, cork in contact, of course, as he always does. But um, accuracy just a bit off so far. So it doesn't look as though Red's going to take on this hoop. I think he'll just opt to stop shot blue and hold for tighter hoop position. Ah, oh, so correction, sorry Louise, uh, it appears the opening ceremony wasn't recorded. Uh, they did have the camera around there, so I assumed it was being, but uh, some technical glitches at the start of the day uh, meant we didn't get all of that on record. Glad you're enjoying the commentary though. Great shot from JP there, uh, perfect centre ball clearance on red, holding for hoop position. Yeah, we've got a comment from uh, Angela Avis, uh, the background noise is distracting. Not a lot we can uh, do about that I'm afraid, um, Angela. Uh, Hurlingham Club, for those of you who don't know, is a, uh, a large posh London social club. There's lots of chat going on. Um, as well as the croquet here today, there's uh, well, well, a pretty well top flight tennis um, uh, exhibition. Being as, uh, as we are in the run up to Wimbledon, I'm not quite sure of the players who, who are attending, but a number of Wimbledon players are attending and there's been stands built just um, about 100 yards away over to our right hand side. One of the uh, the uh, tennis courts there is now a mini amphitheatre. Um, 
come the day when everyone sees the light of what a marvellous game croquet is, we'll have grandstands and stadiums for our, our sport. Um, but at the moment, it's, uh, it's deck chairs sitting in the sunshine and enjoying this broadcast, hopefully. Red here looking to play wired from blue, forcing black to take an early clearance. And that's well short. Well short, he's. Uh, Doesn't even have a hoop shot from there, I don't Gonzalo's think. Gonzalo's crossed himself at that. This has really handed the initiative to England now. Will will come into uh, a good scoring position. It's a routine clearance for, for JP with the blue. For those of you with a large screen, you can probably see for yourselves, but um, just off the centre of your view is the scoreboard for court three, where Spain have drawn level in the second game uh, with the score at one all. And uh, here's a clearance from JP. Once this, he probably wants this. Uh, about half ball to send it right to the uh, right into corner three, and that's yeah. pretty well what he gets. That's a great that's shot. Very I mean, nice. That's maximum distance clearance. The ball's only about uh, a yard and a half out of corner three, and that's going to leave uh, Gonzalo with uh, something approaching a 20-yard clearance on black. He can see it. He might even have a ball and hoop double. Oh, how us golf croquet players like a hoop and ball double. So, he's steadying himself. Uh, this is a big one. Bit of a miss hit there. A, yeah, that, uh, that was a well ball, wide of black ball. in the hoop. Oh, we got a visitor to the commentary box, a young lady, I'm afraid. Don't know your name. Good afternoon. Hello, Charlotte. Hello. It's a technical issue that uh, we'll, uh, we'll ask. Uh, oh, Charlotte's talking to, talking to okay. Aston at the moment. Oh, Will, man, that's, that's um, sorry for my my disappointment there. That was a really poor shot, Will. He did all the hard work there, England, getting in, getting in touch with the... Um, sorry, getting... getting command of the hoop, and then the, uh, the conversion just wasted there by Will. Um, so we're now... Uh, and he's punished there by Jose. So uh, we've got that 5-3 uh, lead for Spain. And um, Will has to uh, gather himself together here. He's, um, I'm afraid he's missed uh, a, number of, uh, a number of crucial shots now. And um, that last one was probably the worst of the lot. So um, 
you could be filming me about stuff, maybe I'll shoot that. Okay, apparently we've got a bit of a problem with the sound, so uh, Eugene is here, he's going to swap some cables around. So we'll just go quiet for a minute or two as JP plays across to Hoop 8. Okay, still a bit of sound issues going on. Sounds only going through one channel, basically. We need to switch back to camera two, I think. Yep, okay. To give you something to see. There we go. So we're back, back with the commentary now? Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're, Eugene's um, swapped some cables around. Um, hopefully the sound is better for you now. Aston's um, had a, having a break, so you're, you're left with me and uh, Seems whenever I'm on commentary of the hoop shots, England miss. That's uh, another poor one this time from JP. So uh, to bring you back up, the English score is uh, Spain 5, England 3. And uh, England's, uh, England's position is... Well, good afternoon again everyone. Um, we had some technical issues there for a little while. I wasn't too sure how long we were offline for. Um, we, uh, we had troubles with the, the actual stream. So everything good in the tent here and uh, with our cameraman. Who's, um, who's our cameraman? Which one? Rodri. R R Roderick, our cameraman. 
So uh, thanks to him, uh, Hurlingham member, doing a grand job with our main camera. Um, not quite sure how long we were offline for, I think yeah, only a couple of minutes, so in which case you haven't missed uh, a great deal. We're still 5-3 to Spain on uh, this main court in front of you, court number four, and the news from the adjoining court number three is that there's just been a hoop score, and the score's going up, and it's uh, a three-all draw, uh, a tied score at the moment uh, on court three. That's the match between Stephen Mulliner and Richard Bilton against the Alvira Salas of Manuel and Andres. So we've got a, a little pause on court, uh, court four in front of us. There's a conversation between uh, England captain JP and the, and the two Spaniards. Looks like we've lost Will G. So uh, he's been off to change his shirt once. Maybe it's that, maybe it's uh, something uh, more long-winded. In the meanwhile, uh, Roderick is uh, giving us a, a panorama view down uh, down the courts. You can see we've got four courts in a row here, which will uh, be utilised fully once our, uh, our, our two remaining Spaniards arrive later this afternoon. Um, oh, we've got a bit of uh, a bit of competition sound-wise from a function at, uh, at Hurlingham. There's a bell ringing. I don't know if that's lunch or something more exciting. I'll not compete with him for the moment and uh, perhaps we'll turn our own microphone off until okay. the announcement's finished. Okay, we've still got a gentleman behind us uh, making an announcement for a social function. So um, we've tried to move the position of our mic so that uh, it's directionally more with uh, Aston and me and less over our shoulders towards him. So hopefully we're not competing too much. He seems to be winding up his arrangements for the big lunch they've got planned. And we've been rejoined by Will. So it's game back on. 
It's also nice to see we've been joined by a couple of viewers on the live stream from Adelaide and Queensland down in Australia. So thank you both very much for tuning in to watch. Yeah, especially as it's about two o'clock in the morning, Aston. Uh, yes, quite right. <laughs> well, you're both very welcome, and I understand we've got uh, uh, listen, uh, viewers in from South Africa as well. Not quite the same time difference, but uh, viewers all around the world. We've lost a few, um, 66 now, uh, watching this live stream. 67, welcome, whoever you are that's just come on. <laughs> Okay, so our announcer from Herningham's uh, made his welcome to everybody. So now what we've got is the, the hubbub of, of uh, people enjoying themselves at a, at a social function. Meanwhile, back at the action, uh, Gonzalo is cross with himself for missing that one. So to recap again, it's England, uh, England 3, Spain 5. And uh, on the uh, adjoining court, Spain have now taken the lead. So 4-3 uh, to Spain on court three. Will here just looking to find a spot for black. That blocks yellow at blue and ideally yellow at the hoop as well. Apparently it's uh, only half past ten down in Adelaide, so not too bad. Got a couple more hours of reasonable viewing time. So thank you, Dwayne, for joining. Looks as though yellow was just able to clip blue out of hoop position there. So blue now coming back, ideally blocking red at the hoop and potentially in a wired spot from yellow uh, if that's possible. A little bit difficult to tell from our angle over here in the commentary tent. Might be open for yellow, but priority there was to block red's hoop attempt, which I think he's done. Gonzalo missing again. So uh, that's really handed, uh, handed everything to England at this hoop. Uh, that's two shots, five yards or less, that he's missed in a row there. So perhaps the little intermission between play hasn't helped him. Meanwhile on court three, Spain now uh, lead England 5-3 in their, in their second game. To remind you, England won the first game over there 7-4. And over that side we're watching Stephen Mulliner and Richard Bilton 
taking on the Alvira Salah pair of Manuel and Andres. For those of you that downloaded the program, uh, you'll see that the Spanish side has four Alvira Salah from, from the Alvira Salah family. I know for a fact we've got two brothers. Are the others cousins, Aston? Do uh, I don't know the relation between them, no. But, them, um, no. Between the four of them, they've largely dominated the game in Spain for the past few years, uh, with the exception perhaps of Jose or Pepe Riva. Uh, he's the top ranked player in Spain for both golf croquet and association croquet. Unfortunately, he's not playing at this event, uh, but he is a wonderful player to watch and he will be representing uh, in August. Uh, that will also be live streamed. <coughs> Have to agree with you there, Ewan. The pace of play is really disappointing. Uh, they are being quite slow at the moment. Um, obviously, doubles games are normally quite a bit slower than singles. Uh, you get these lengthy discussions between the players. But hopefully as they build into the match, we'll start to see the pace of play speed up a little. Oh, that's, that's a great that's shot. A great shot. It's uh, two for one there for, uh, for Jose. And he really, really needed that. Um, Red is off the north boundary with a clearance of 27, 28 yards. So it was all down to that shot to uh, to prolong this hoop a little longer. So the Spaniards now in conversation down there in the shadows at the north end, north end of the ground. This is uh, Croquet North, of course. Um, in real terms, we're completely the other way around, just over over the Spanish lads' shoulders there, behind the high banking, is a particularly wide part of the River Thames positioned as we are on the north bank at the Hurlingham Club at Putney. So good clearance here from uh, from Will. Getting some good distance on yellow. Probably going to sell himself a little bit here to to get that, hit that a bit too straight, so that's still a, a, a reasonable clearance now from, um, well we're about hoop five high on the east boundary. Yeah, so we had the option there to cut clear that quite yeah. a bit further north, or just to stop shot it and hold for hoop position. Uh, he went somewhere in between, which means he now doesn't have a nice hoop, and yellow has a fairly short return clearance on blue. And that's a terrific cut clearance, sending yellow off the south boundary uh, with the potential for a hoop shot uh, later if that becomes necessary. Uh, yes, Dwayne, they are untimed games. Uh, I'm playing my doubles match later this evening, so because two of the Spanish players won't be arriving uh, for a little bit, they uh, had a flight arriving at Gatwick in quarter to one, I believe. Uh, we're going to have round two as planned in the program, and then Stu and I are going to play Basilio and Pedro in the evening when all the other games are finished. Uh, so hopefully we'll continue to live stream into the evening uh, if you'd like to stay on and watch that match.
Gonzalo taking his opportunity there, but again, uh, finding the Atkins book. Godway Hoops. Good challenge. Just going to have a lady walk across our view. Uh, good afternoon, madam. Okay, we're just offline there for a moment, commentary wise. Um, Mauricio, was it? Uh, it? Mauricio, yes. Mauricio is the technical man from Hurlingham. Apparently, um, the, those of you listening in will be getting the, uh, the ambient uh, commentary, sorry, the ambient um, sound through, uh, through one speaker, and you'll be getting uh, Aston and I through your other speaker. So he's gone off to try and fix that so that we'll be nicely uh, nicely merged for your greater listening pleasure. Also, you might be here in the background, um, somewhat unexpectedly, we have the uh, a tinkering of a steel band, which... Um, you'd nice think, bit of background you'd think, music You'd, you'd for think you we'd have laid this on, but, uh, but no, I think uh, a competing function over our shoulders. Right, JP for Hoop 8. And uh, yet another clang. Now, maybe, uh, maybe players not familiar with this level will think, well, why are they playing it so hard? And uh, wouldn't it be better to score just the hoop? Well, it's all a matter of uh, risk and reward. They've got reasonable position uh, in command of this heap and they are England are chasing a 5-3 deficit so just running the hoop as you might do in a club game and uh, going through the hoop really does then concede first stroke down to hoop 10 and with the score at 5-3 or 5-4 as it would be then you really want to be uh, getting something down towards hoop 10 so you're competitive there the, uh, the idea that you can uh, just trade hoops when you're chasing the game clearly doesn't work and you end up losing. So we can't uh, criticise um, the, the England players too much for trying to get something else out of the hoop shot, especially when they're in a commanding position on those hoops. Now here Royal's got a free shot, trying to do the same thing, and uh, he deserves a bit of, uh, a bit of better fortune now. was a complete miss, so uh, missing the target completely. He is uh, looking down, wondering where it's uh, where it's going wrong, and uh, the short answer is we don't know. No, <laughs> can't uh, can't help you there, Will. Meanwhile, in good commentary uh, commentary box fashion. Um, reminding ourselves of uh, test matches of the of a different game. My lunch has arrived, so um, it's not test match special cake, but I do have a rather nice Caesar salad. I've also been informed by Eugene that I have a mac and cheese on the way, so looking forward to that arriving shortly. Now we have a comment in the YouTube chat from FCC Webmeister. Can you comment on what they talk about? Is it a positive thing to do or are they better to do their own thing? Um, 
I'm assuming you're talking about the discussions that are going on between the doubles pairings. Uh, that communication is a very important part uh, of any doubles partnership, uh, particularly if you have two players with dissimilar play styles. Um, otherwise, you can get a bit of a mismatch um, in thinking between shots. It's very important to plan ahead uh, at least one rotation through the next four shots. Uh, so understanding what your partner's plan is with their shot um, is vital before taking your own. Yep, exactly what Toby's just said in the chat there. Collaborative tactics and discussing them is well worth doing. So quite right there. Well, good afternoon, uh, Toby. Um, thanks for that contribution. And of course, in the previous... Um, iteration of this uh, this test match uh, what will hopefully become a fully a, a very regular series um, Toby himself was uh, was in that England team and had a very uh, good uh, really good partnership with uh, the England captain JP Mowbray um, Toby's um, not on the side today so uh, JP being being joined by Will G their styles are fairly similar uh, Will's the uh, the perhaps the more aggressive player and um, not perhaps firing as uh, as well as he, he would like so far in this match but when it clicks for Will it really does Bit unlucky there, Will shot just colliding with the back of the hoop. Um, I think he probably can run that through, uh, but it's going to take an extra shot uh, that he's going to have to waste to put that back through the right side of the hoop. So we have a question about time limits on discussions. Uh, there are no time limits on discussions in doubles. Um, obviously putting a time limit on the game as a whole would potentially help with that. Uh, but for a match of this standard, we don't have time limits um, in play at the moment. And hopefully they won't come into force over the weekend. Chris, however, here is a referee, and well, we, I do uh, believe there's something in the laws about uh, uh, playing the, with expediency. There is uh, playing with dispatch, it used to say, um, and that's still very much the case. Um, generally speaking, uh, players are not hassled along, particularly at this this level where um, decisions can be uh, can, can be can be so crucial. A, a wrong decision really could let your opposition in. Um, in, in a much bigger way than perhaps in a club game, uh, players don't tend to uh, they, they, they tend to convert what they're trying to do with a much greater um, accuracy than in club uh, club play. But yeah, the, the uh, it is the pace of play, play here is really disappointing and slow, and um, it, it, uh, it, it, as a referee, you know, there, 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 there is a. while JP plays this stroke. That's a very nice shot there with double clearance. Uh, I think he's just about got Red out of jumping position. Uh, Red, however, can just play back in where Black can't clear it. Um, Blue's going to either have a wired return clearance um, or, at the very best, a 20 yard shot back at red to stop it from running a simple two foot hoop. Yes, just picking up where I was before then, the, uh, the, there is a requirement to play with reasonable dispatch. Um, I've always taken the view that um, uh, one doesn't want to interrupt players provided uh, the match is making a satisfactory progress and not every shot is discussed um, there's not usually a need for a, a manager to request the uh, 
the intervention of a referee to warn the players about their slow play. There does come a point though where if uh, if the habit starts to be formed that every single stroke is preceded by the prolonged chat, then uh, something may need to be said to uh, chivvy things along a bit. That's usually sufficient. Um, a, a little um, chivvy from a referee uh, to uh, remind players that they are taking slow. They're probably not even aware they're playing slowly, to be honest. They're probably so I expect on they are at this stage. But no. um, this, this really is the uh, game next to them. It's uh, actually finished. So uh, we're still at hoop nine in game one over here. But uh, over on lawn three, the uh, Spanish team has leveled it out with a 7-5 victory in game two. So they will now go to a third, uh, being one all with England to play first. And I mentioned a match referee uh, a moment ago. The match referee here, to, here for this test match is Frances Coleman, championship referee. She's one of uh, 22 championship referees we have in England. And so she's uh, giving up her weekend to be the, uh, the designated referee for the tournament. I can see her um, actually uh, taking the opportunity, whilst there's only one game in play, to have some lunch of her own over in their tent just to your, uh, the left of your view. Um, she uh, was very heavily used at the European Championships down at Budley two weeks ago, where she had to cover all 11, all 11 courts and clocked up quite some mileage um, wandering between each one. Um, so far, her, uh, her pink hat hasn't been in evidence on the courts um, in either of these games and uh, so she's underutilised at the moment. So F FCC Webmeister, um, is that you Chris Roberts? Peter Wilson from Corfu and Filed here. Hello Peter, good afternoon to you and I um, hope uh, you and Liz are enjoying this commentary. Um, look forward to seeing you in Corfu later this year. We run a, con uh, a, a croquet tournament uh, in Corfu every year and uh, Peter uh, and Liz are stalwart uh, supporters of that. So glad you're enjoying, your, enjoying our, our efforts here. So, so. jump shot attempt here from Gonzalo. Nothing to lose. And he converts there with ease. Nothing to lose because, of course, Black came in from the back of the hoop, so had he collided with Black, Black wasn't in a hoop scoring position. So it's looking a bit grim for England here. Um, Spain now 6 3. That was an important hoop for England to score there. Um, we did have a shot at it, which unfortunately didn't work out. So, certainly up against it now in this first game of the match. For those of you joining us um, um, since the start of uh, uh, this broadcast, um, we introduced ourselves at the beginning and we even got uh, our faces on uh, on the screen for a short time, so um, you're listening to Chris Roberts. I'm the former editor of the uh, the Croquet Gazette, and um, I'm sitting alongside uh, one of the England players that will be playing later this evening. That's Aston Wade, and uh, oh, we're going to switch the cameras we'll on to so we can we can wave over here. eating lunch oh. over here. We can we, we can wave to you. Um, oh, I'm over there. Got to look at the camera. Yes, sorry. Let's see where the camera is. So. Uh, We've got Eugene Chang behind the camera uh, doing all the technical stuff, and uh, can we can we show uh, can we show everybody Roderick as well? So he's doing a sterling job on the uh, on the main camera. There's Roderick from uh, Hurlingham. Give us a wave, Roderick. There we are. That's what you do. Right, okay. Meanwhile, back at the action.
a good clearance there from Gonzalo. So, um, he had another long chat um, where we're, where we're going to place the England balls for the maximum effect. Now England are up against it here, they can't just, uh, they've got to get something out of this hoop and be mindful of um, the hoops to come as well. So the discussion here, just deciding where Will wants to place black, it needs to be far enough back from yellow that yellow can't easily clear it and retain hoop position. So where JP is standing at the moment looks a good compromise between still having a possible hoop and not giving yellow an easy stop shot clearance. Perhaps a bit safer still there from Will. Jose is looking at it though, so I think they found a good distance when the uh, opposition begins to question what shot they should be taking. Helena says it would be nice to see someone run hoop 9. Uh, well yes, we've just got through that, so uh, thankfully we're making a little bit more progress uh, onto hoop 10 now. And Jose is in fact taking on this clearance of black. And that's a nice shot. Never going to stop Yellow dead there, but uh, it's gone on just a couple of yards. Uh, so probably the best he could hope for with that shot. Don't think JP's got the uh, got the angle to hide hide fully from. anything there but uh, just playing the long game putting the ball right in front and Gonzalo going for placement as well now, this is uh, this is a dangerous game for me because um, Fancy, uh, fancy Will's, Will's chances here with uh, something like about an eight yard smash at yellow, if he takes that option. Or uh, I think the discussion will be, do we go for two in front and play the long game? What do you think, Aston? I prefer to play the block in with black here. Uh, even if you do make a good connection with yellow, you're probably only moving it as far as the north boundary, which is an eight, nine yard return clearance at best. Uh, hasn't gone in for the block between yellow and blue there, but it is at least good hoop position. Well, I was about to say uncharacter miss, uncharacteristic uh, miss from Jose there, but he he has missed two or three now, actually, hasn't he? And, um, yeah, it was actually sorry. Gonzalo that missed a couple of the shorter ones down at hoop nine. Uh, oh, okay. But uh, maybe, maybe it's catching. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so six uh, six four now, Spain lead. But uh, England still with it all to do. We're now at 99 viewers, so hopefully one more person might join us in the next few minutes to bring us up to triple figures.
So yellow has a reasonable angle to play in for the block on blue at red. So we might see Will take preemptive clearance here with black at red. No, he wants to. Uh, he wants to be really sure that that's the right thing to do. So he's going over to discuss it still further with uh, Captain JP. You can forgive him here. Um, a little frustrated with their pace of play earlier on, but uh, now at six four down, decisions like this are pretty crucial as to to what you do. As uh, Aston was saying, yellow yellow's got a pretty good chance of getting on blue's line to red. So. Um, They've taken the chance. They've taken the chance that uh, yellow doesn't pull this off. So we've got a pretty good view of this. You can see right down the line of uh, blue to red. Yellow's coming down the line. So uh, that's a darn sight easier than going across the line and stopping a ball on a sixpence. There's probably a good couple of feet he's got there, I should think, hasn't he? That he can drop the ball in. Yeah, um, I think so. And and cover this cover this shot. See the uh, the Hurlingham Pro cameraman behind the shot there, lying down, getting a good view. Good man, putting a lot of effort in there to his uh, his photography. So let's see, uh, see what Jose can do. This is a potential match-winning stroke. If you can cover the red, you'd, uh, you'd fear for England. Sorry, game-winning stroke. So we keep forget we're still on the first game, aren't we? Yep. It's been a while. I didn't set a clock running. Okay. Oh, okay. He's that was for the clearance on black. Okay, that one. didn't see that coming. No, I'd say that's a fairly unusual choice. Um, still puts the pressure on uh, Blue to clear this, and even if it does, Red will play back into good hoop running position. England will be stuck clearing for quite a while longer. Just wondering behind uh, Will there, sorry, behind JP there, is the match referee Francis Coleman in what's become, her, say, a trademark pink hat. Which, um, it was something she, she brought along to, say, the European Championships so that everyone could see her and know where to call her. So, um, and, and they just, just clipped, clipped that. Christ, I, I thought that was going to miss. It just seemed to be going off at the end. Yep, so, I was uh, worried about that yeah, one, was, but yeah. uh, just enough for the moment. So, England uh, stay live. News from court, uh, court three. England have a 2-0 lead in the uh, the Mulliner and uh, Bilton match against uh, Manuel and Andres Alvarez Sala. Harry Fisher in the uh, chat saying that Spain are winning this despite some questionable tactics. Um, I have been questioning their tactics. It's uh, not necessarily in line what I would play. Uh, but it seems to be working for them, so can't blame them for it at the moment. Of course, there's no real escaping the view that um, England are in this position um, due to their own unforced errors. It was a, a missed hoop. Uh, hoops, hoop seven by Will, and, uh, and then another one at uh, hoop eight by JP. So I'm afraid it's uh, all of the England lads' own making.
So big shot here for JP to try and stay in the game. And that's just missed on the right. So Gonzalo will have a one yard hoop to take the first game. Very well played. We'd have to say that was deserved. And uh, a very long first game. Let's hope, uh, hope the action speeds up a little bit. In, uh... So we'll just take a, take a short break. It's probably quite a good time to... How does it come off? <laughs>
OK, so the players have opted to go for lunch after what was a very lengthy first game. We're going to take a break on the commentary. Um, we're on, are we? Right, yeah, we're on now. Um, so we're going to take a short break on the commentary uh, while we finish off our lunch as well. And we will rejoin you back on Lawn 4 for the second game of this match.
Hi everyone, sorry, we're just um, just chit-chatting with why, why people can't have sound. So whilst this is all going on, our, uh, our second cameraman is just busy um, covering off uh, court three, which is the match between Bilton and Mulner and two, again, two Alvaro Salas. Uh, it's uh, Andres and Manuel. Andres and Manuel, exactly. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're not really doing that much sound for now, so I'm just keeping it off just whilst we chit chat. Okay, sorry, whilst we've just been chit-chatting, I, I think Spain have just won that game, 7-3. 7-3, yep. Yeah, so so whilst we've been chit-chatting, um, Manuel Andres, is that right? Uh, yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so they have been very busy and they've actually completed a win in the time it's taken for one uh, one game of the Lawn 4 to, to, uh, to be played. Sorry, um, up here is Martin, our second cameraman. There we go. Go to the um, go to the screen. Go to the still still screen. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Like, no, no, no. It's well because of I, because you want to be able to move this and yeah, but, but, connect but, but, it. But, but the sound is independent. No, this is following through here. So this I, is. I know, but I'm, what I'm saying is, it's better to have. Yeah, yeah, we should have. We should have independent. But obviously, I got here a bit late because yeah, of troubles. Yeah. Didn't have time to wire everything up. So what I'll do is I'll take this out.
camera. camera two. Right, well, good afternoon, uh, everybody. It's all a bit echoey now. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, you uh, rejoin us at the England Spain Golf Croquet Test match at, here at Hurlingham. Um, we've had uh, only one game um, played in our featured match between uh, JP Mobley and Will G, playing against the, the Spanish pair Jose and Gonzalo Alvarez Sala. Hello, Pedro. Pedro has just arrived on the, the late arriving. Uh, uh, late arriving Spaniards, so we're going to be uh, continuing with this um, this featured match. This is the second game. Uh, Spain lead uh, one nil, and uh, England are in good position to take a one nil lead in this second game. Uh, Spain Spain uh, won the first game seven. The score's gone over uh, there now. What was yeah, it? I don't know what they're doing over there, but I believe it was 7-4. I think it was 7-4. And in the meantime, while we've been uh, while we've been off broadcast, the uh, the accompanying game on court uh, court three um, was won by Spain. They won the decider there 7-3. So Spain are one match uh, to nil up and one game to nil up in our featured match in front of us here. Um, I'm Chris Roberts, the former editor of the Croquet Gazette and uh, Wales registered player, so somewhat um, somewhat independent. And alongside me, uh, we have the expert views of Aston Wade, one of the England players who will be in action very shortly. So, not quite so independent. But, um, <laughs> I have just heard that um, the plan is to play this game, and if it does go to one all in the match, the third game will be postponed until later this evening so that we can kick off round two uh, and hopefully get back onto schedule uh, after what was quite a lengthy first game in this match. So those of you um, uh, tuning in on, uh, online will have done so via a link that um, you will have uh, picked up taking you to the, I believe via the Hurlingham website to this YouTube broadcast. And on that Hurlingham uh, link, you can download a full programme with pen portraits of the players, a uh, little bit of uh, potted histories, and a full programme that uh, is laid out on the centre pages of that of that programme. And as Aston says, um, due to the uh, the late arrival of uh, Basilio Iglesias and Pedro, who we've just shaken hands with, um, their um, their game, their first round game against Aston Wade and Stuart Smith. Um, is suspended until this evening, so that'll give us some action to watch there. And we'll be starting afresh with round two at the conclusion of the game which you're, you're looking at now. Just to bring you up to speed, uh, both JP and Will have had a shot at the hoop. Uh, neither have come off. Uh, so JP there just trying to play blue into blocking position in front of the hoop. Uh, drifted a little bit far past. So we've lost a few viewers um, while we were uh, while we suspended our broadcast for lunch. So maybe you're all off having your own. Um, our Australian viewers have probably gone to bed, bless them. Um, do send us a, a, a chat note from Australia if we do have any of you watching. Um, seeing if you're holding up your country's end there. Uh, so we're down to 56 viewers, but uh, hopefully people will uh, join us and we can get past the magic hundred. We got to 99, frustratingly. Yes, when I looked it was at 99, so hopefully we can break 100 uh, later this afternoon. It was also good to see, I believe, someone from Canada watching uh, earlier today in the stream. So if you are viewing from outside of the UK, do let us know. Uh, it would be great to hear from you. Well, there with a good cut clearance on yellow, sending black uh, directly south of hoop one, uh, yellow over at a bit of an angle. 
will still have a shot at blue if it fancies it, or it can just play back into position. Uh, I don't think blue is posing a threat to the hoop from where it is. It's just a little bit too far to the east. Nice clearance on blue there, uh, giving JP a probably just shy of 20 yard return clearance on red to save hoop one. So those of you that uh, are joining us uh, for the first time, we just watched JP's uh, hoop one saving shots. Yeah. And uh, he's got that just out of our view, just beat the cameraman there. So. Uh, He's got that, so no balls in front of the hoop. Good time to sort of give you a bit of background. So we're at the Hurlingham Club in uh, just on the north bank of the River Thames by Putney Bridge, for those of you that know your London geography. Um, the main Hurlingham building, which is uh, a magnificent uh, magnificent mansion, is behind us over, over as you're looking at it, over your right shoulder. And behind the trees in front of you is a particularly wide stretch of the River Thames. We've got four courts in, uh, that are going to be used for this match. They're numbered, nu they're numbered one to four from the far one, as far as you can see there on the right-hand side. So we're on court four, which is going to be our featured court for the whole of this broadcast. So a seven yard hoop attempt there from JP, uh, just hitting the left hand side of the wire. And Gonzalez, Alvarez Sala draws first blood for Spain and that's uh, that's a beautifully controlled stroke took uh, took a little bit of wire there it's always a uh, always difficult to know how much wire you're going to take and uh, what pace the ball's going to leave the hoop with but he judged that one beautifully so one nil to Spain and uh, in a good position for hoop two And that is a very good shot. Draws applause from uh, from his opponent, JP. So yellow has covered red beautifully. So JP's uh, only really got an option of uh, a tricky block, which at this distance will be very uh, very hard to pull off. And if he can achieve it, he's got close to it though. A little That's bit only. Overdone. Overdone. Yeah. overdone. Gonzalo here with a two and a half yard hoop attempt to take an early 2 0 lead in the second match. And uh, 
Well, well be kind. The the Atkins Codway hoops giving players um, plenty of challenge here. We've seen a number of in fact, almost the feature of the first game was the number of missed hoops that um, one would have laid money on uh, players at this standard getting from those distances. But um, international croquet. It, uh, Quite the same as just playing for yourself, there are nerves. But, um, Very tidy shot from yellow there, uh, shifting black back into the lawn and holding four and a half yard position in front of hoop two. And we've got more discussion again. Uh, unfortunately, um, the amount of uh, between shot shot. Chat between the England players in particular. The Spaniards were were not grease lightning themselves, but the feature of the uh, of the first game was the length of time it took. It was nearly two hours, and uh, the uh, the game adjoining on court two played three not short games in the time that it took these uh, this quartet to play just one. So we. Uh, we really do hope that the play uh, speeds up a bit. It is worth noting though that JP and Will have only played together once before last year, so it will take them a little bit more time to get used to each other's play as a doubles partnership. Okay, so as we did in the uh, in the first in the first game, as we did in the first game, uh, we're going to switch to our subsidiary camera uh, just for a minute or two while our primary camera goes to the north end, whilst the action's down there. So we'll switch that over now. Uh, do you want? Is that on? Yeah. Yeah, so we're uh, we're on the subsidiary camera, which we'll just try and move around. It's not got quite such a, such a zoom; it's more of a an overview. I'll just try and move this round. Right, our, uh, our cameraman and technical expert Eugene Chang has uh, disappeared off up to the north end. He's just out of your out of your shot in uh, in corner two, and we'll be switching to live coverage from there when they're set up in just a moment. In the meantime, we've got. Uh, Unfortunately, a poor view at the moment of Will G accepting, uh, taking a jump shot and jump very cleanly over yellow to score hoop two, bringing the score to one all. So that's uh, a confidence builder for Will. It's a routine jump for him, but um, he's uh, clanged a few hoops before lunch and so uh, needs some success. Okay, so we're now going to switch back to our primary camera, which is at the north boundary end. And uh, looks like we're not, quite, not, up, not yeah. quite ready yet. We'll go back to the, 
to our previous view and we'll just have to try and fill in with the commentary for you because it's a bit hard to see with the action being so far away. Jose has put yellow into a perfect position in front of hoop three. JP taking on a 22 yard clearance attempt there, uh, not quite paying off, so Will will have a slightly shorter shot at it in a moment's time. You're not missing any action on uh, any of the other courts. Um, the only game we've had so far uh, completed was the, uh, the, Mull the Mulliner and uh, Richard Bilton game against uh, Manuel and Andre Andres and Manuel Alvarez Sala, which uh, concluded with a 7-3 victory in the deciding in the deciding game for the Spaniards. So uh, the whole of round two will will, will uh, start at the conclusion of this game, irrespective of the result of this game. And uh, Will fires uh, strongly at two, misses, and this will be a tap-in for, uh, for Jose Alvira-Sala, and 2-1 to Spain, surely. Indeed it is, and he's judged that well. The beauty of being close enough to the hoop, he's uh, seemed to run through there without taking any wire at all. Yep, lovely and, shot uh, again, getting nicely himself. down towards hoop four. Jose there just opting to stop shot blew out the way. Uh, only got a half ball contact on that, so yellow's dribbled past the hoop down towards corner four. JP here looking to play back in, hopefully blocking red at the hoop. over the ball. Looks to have gone through the middle of blue in the hoop there. Yeah. At least the pace of this game seems to have picked up from the... Uh, it has, yes. Glacial, uh, glacial play, pace of the first game. Not hard to beat that first game. Indeed. So. Indeed. so England looking in a good position with two balls in front here at uh, the hoop four. Trailing as they are, 2-1. Uh, and again, another double clearance. That was a, a mirror, mirroring shot from uh, Jose in the first game. fist pump there from him, please with that. Yeah, absolutely.
Gonzalo taking the action uh, to England. So, um, got a good contact there. So, wherever Will puts the ball here, you'd fancy Gonzalo would have that covered with his position of red, which is just outside your view to the left as you look at it on the screen. So, he's about uh, maybe two yards in from the east boundary, about peg high. There it is. Jose now playing yellow into position from up in corner three. And he doesn't want to block uh, no. Red's shot on, red, on black. I think red, Red's got, uh, got Might black, just about got black be okay, open. Yes. Uh, certainly yes, in the line so. of sight. Yeah, Will's, uh, Will's marking a spot for JP to protect him. So uh, that confirms that Red's got a clean shot on black. At least at the moment, unless uh, Blue can sort out that. Probably just overdone it. I think Red goes through the middle of those two. Yes, so uh, ball on either side of Black here. Characteristic miss. He's nailed a few of those long ones, hasn't he? So, um, yep. England uh, somewhat let off there. Right now, has Will G turned the corner? He'd, uh, he's had a couple of uh, poor misses in the first game, and uh, was a slight angle on that. It was a slight still angle. Still only on about a yard away, so. Yeah. Normally you'd expect him to be running those fairly comfortably. I'm still not sure of the wisdom there, Aston, of uh, hitting that with quite such uh, quite so much gusto. Um, you, I mean, were you? It depends on your... the player. Um, hitting it hard can be more comfortable uh, for some players. Uh, it allows you to get through the stroke uh, without so much hesitation as uh, slowing it down. But yeah, really, I'd recommend taking hoop strokes on at whatever speed is most comfortable for you. Uh, if that happens to be powerful, then that will probably help you in some cases. Um, but trying to force the power on hoop strokes generally isn't going to help. There you have it, folks. The, uh, the view of the reigning British, champ British Open champion. Until next week. He knows um, what he's talking about. <laughs> British Open doubles <laughs> starts on Tuesday and the singles runs from Thursday to Sunday. So we may well have a new champion uh, by Sunday next week. I think he's hedging his bets for the listeners. What do you think? So uh, anybody that's um, in uh, driving distance of uh, Southwick in Brighton, uh, there's a, a treat down there for you at the Southwick Club near Shoreham. The doubles, as um, Will says, is on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then the singles four days uh, after that, concluding with the final on Sunday afternoon. Now the best Will can really do here is clear yellow to the boundary, leaving it a seven-yard return shot at blue. So you can see he's tried to cut that to maximise the distance a little bit. Um, still probably only about six yard return yellow at blue here. The other advantage of Will's shot to cut yellow up to the north is that now it's made this clearance, JP's return at red is significantly shorter than it would have been if yellow had had the opportunity to clear blue over to the west boundary.
JP going for a more controlled clearance there on red, but drifting by to the to the right. So uh, a free shot for Gonzalo. wind getting up, um, this is un unsettling him, and no it isn't, so uh, stayed focused there, waves the scorer, another uh, hoop point to Spain, who now lead 3-1. It's difficult for us to tell here how much um, background noise you're picking up, there's uh, a big social occasion going on in the, uh, the terraced area behind our commentary tent. Hopefully that's not spoiling your enjoyment. We have at least lost the um, the uh, constant uh, introduction of, of the aircraft. Uh, for those of you who know Hurlingham, it's um, an absolutely beautiful setting. Just spoilt uh, frequently because it's on uh, the Heathrow fly path. But uh, thankfully the wind must have changed and uh, they're coming in from another direction and uh, we're all quiet on that front. So, Spain have already established some control at hoop 5. Will's approach there was a little bit shorter um, than I think he would have liked. It allowed Yellow to have a relatively short stop shot clearance. Uh, so, Black is now a couple of yards north of 6, and Yellow is about 2 yards to the east of hoop 5. Thank you, Toby. Apparently the background noise is wholly unobtrusive, so we're pleased to hear that. And uh, very kind of you, Louise. Uh, yes, I did win the European Championships. I... Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we mentioned earlier on, some of you may or may not have this uh, switched on. There's a chat facility on the, uh, on the, on the, on the, on the YouTube. Uh, and there's a button to towards the bottom of your the right hand side of your screen to turn that on if uh, that's something you'd like to join in with um, unfortunately we have got um, some spam uh, somebody's joining us with uh, all sorts of offers that we uh, we're not interested in and we're trying to delete those as we go along and uh, hopefully those are not spoiling your enjoyment of the, the chat between yourselves So as the cameras sp spread a uh, li little wider, just to give us a, a little bit of a flavour of, uh, of Hurlingham, there's the magnificent uh, main Hurlingham Club building. I'd like to be able to tell you I've done some research on when that was built, and um, I haven't. I do know that uh, it was f this whole area was flooded in the 1920s, uh, right up to the front door of that building, and that's quite a slope there behind uh, JP. So uh, you can imagine. Uh, the, uh, the extent of the flooding that they had back in the 20s. I think JP can just about see the side of red here. Uh, so black might be covering enough that he's taking on the jump here. Seemed to get the bounce right, but not the direction. Yeah, the bounce was nice, just uh, over to the right of the hoop there. Either clearing red or making the hoop would have been a nice result. Um, unfortunately, neither's come off on that shot there. So, Gonzalo with another hoop effort, less than a yard out, has taken a 4 1 lead. Another smooth hoop stroke there, running it down nicely to about six and a half yards short of six. So England looking uh, a little bit down the barrels here. There's not a safe place for 
for Will to put this. Um, red's covering the whole of uh, the front of hoop six. Sensibly going over towards the left hand side, so when red does clear him, at least red's going away from the hoop. That's and they've been far. let, and that's a let off. Um, yellow overheating has, uh, has really let England off the hook there. Spanish seem to have let JP play this from an offside position, which, uh, although the distance is about the same as it would be from the penalty area, it's a straighter hoop approach, so it's potentially slightly easier than it would have been from either penalty area. So a little discussion now between, uh, between the Spaniards. Red, red to clear, uh, to clear black. And we're joined in the commentary box by uh, Stuart Smith, who's going to be in action later on, partnering uh, Aston just at the conclusion of this game. Um, your good lady has asked a question on the um, on the on the on the chat. Uh, this is Louise Smith down uh, watching us, joining us from Devon. She said, "Is um, have the other Spanish players arrived just yet?" Yes, they have. Yes. Or at least at least Pedro arrived, and I. Assume yes, they're both here. They, uh, is here flew as well. in together, I believe. So um, they'll be, uh, I imagine, having a bit of a warm Yes, I can see them down on court, uh, court two having a bit of a warm up. I've and come, uh, I've actually come to Aston. Okay, uh, I thought you might have done. A bit of a knockdown on two. Okay. I think they might be going on to play um, Manuel and Andreas. Right. Okay. Game, so. Okay. So I uh, don't know whether how directional that mic was. That was um, Stuart taking, uh, coming to take Aston away, uh, so that uh, he too can have a warm up and play the newly arrived uh, Spanish pair of Basilio Iglesias and Pedro Lozano. They'll be down on court two, and I'll do my best to uh, keep you abreast of what's going on down there um, with me binoculars. Right. So there we are. I'm going um, to head off now, but thank you very much, Chris, for okay. joining me for the commentary. That's good. Well, we'll uh, see if uh, we can uh, find some other partner for me to uh, to be up for, yep. to oh, give well. us some commentary Have a word um, with over the far side over in there. The tent. I'm sure I'm someone will be uh, willing to come up and join you. I know that uh, well. Eugene, Eugene's uh, here for the moment, so he can keep me company for a little while. Right. And uh, over the far side there, we did. The, uh, David Openshaw was around earlier on. Who would be. Uh, useful insight yeah. as um, a doyen of croquet times past and of course the donator of the open shore shield which is uh, croquet's uh, world world cup uh, trophy for the world team championship that happens once every four years so we say cheerio to aston he's uh, wandered off now so with me you're with me chris roberts for the moment um, England are in a good position at hoop six, but not in a great position in the game and match as a whole, trailing as they do 4-1, having lost the first game 7-4. the shot that needed to be hit by uh, uh, Gonzalo, he uh, looks unhappy with it. At that distance I think most of us will be just jolly pleased to have hit it. He did uh, only wing it though. His own ball has gone right off the boundary but, um, to, the, to the south. Will will return with some accuracy from this, uh, this short distance of only about uh, six yards. Indeed he does, right bang in front. So England with two scoring balls. Spain's nearest ball is at uh, around 15 yards. So I'm joined in commentary now by uh, Eugene Chang. He's um, done all you possibly could do, I think, with cables and tyres and all sorts. We've had all, all, uh, all manner of different setups here. Um, hopefully, our sound is now improved from the uh, what we had before lunch. We were uh, we were experiencing 
ambient, uh, ambient um, atmospherics from one speaker and commentary from the other. Hopefully now you should find them mixed for a better experience for you all. Yeah, well I've done a little bit. I've, I've been walking around the grounds having a listen and I can, I can hear the background noise as well so I've, I've just touched a few knobs on, the, on the, uh, this little DJ mixing de desk we've got in front of us. It does look pretty complex doesn't it? It is. It's, it's quite a setup. We'll uh, we'll see if we can get uh, our secondary camera to give you a view of our commentary position. Uh, we've got a very large monitor with uh, various different uh, views uh, that we can offer and switch between. But we do have um, one principal camera being operated by um, Martin, uh, a Hurlingham member. Yeah, we'll just pop, 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 up, pop up our picture in picture so you can have a little bit of a look at what we've got in front of us. So we've got the, our little. Uh, okay, we've. Uh, our little, uh, oh, we've got a got a sign saying change the battery pack, right, uh, that's Eugene. Not it's not helpful so, at all. Okay. So uh, perhaps we should. Uh, so I'll just show a little bit of what's going on here. Okay, so this is our this is our mixing desk that we've got um, laid out. Got a uh, lots of lots of buttons to press to to switch between different sounds and um, uh, and different pictures. In the meantime, for those of you not interested in this and more interested in the croquet, which must be the majority, um, we've uh, we've got past everyone's in the way. Unfortunately, I can't see. We've got we've got past hoop six, and England are now in a controlling position at hoop seven as well. So Spain scored hoop six. The score is five one, but uh, JP has a shot with blue he's just check checking the hoop there to to firm up um, he's going to be trying to to score this with some with some force he just wants to come through here in a controlled way my goodness my goodness you'd have uh, you wouldn't have put a lot of money on that outcome uh, it would be interesting to chat to the players after this game, actually, because um, the England players in particular have had a real problem with these hoops. Uh, we went around and checked them all beforehand, and they were they were beautifully well set by the Hurlingham staff. But um, and not perhaps as firm as they might be. But uh, what what a job these this pair particularly have had. Uh, converting relatively easy easy hoop shots. So Gonzalo then for Spain. Doing a nice clearance on black. Didn't quite hold position so he's run to the south side of, uh, of hoop seven. Um, giving a little hiding opportunity for blue. That's fine. It's fine, not in the way. Hard to tell from this angle whether Blue's got a, a hoop run or not. I'm assuming from Red's previous stroke that Blue doesn't score, but maybe as Gonzalo is taking that, uh, sorry, uh, Jose is taking on that clearance, uh, one would have to assume that uh, in actual fact it did have a hoop scoring chance. All history now. That was a beautiful clearance. He's put the Blue ball pretty much in corner four. So, uh, long way back for JP and yellow's uh, got a good angle uh, off the uh, off the north boundary still very much in contention so it's uh, in old commentary style it's uh, 
back to square one uh, and a reset on this hoop. The, uh, the comment there for back to square one was, um, I understand in early days of com football commentary, uh, they published a, a grid in the Radio Times and uh, the commentator would frequently refer to where the ball was within the grid and uh, square one was quite often where they'd start from when rolling out of defence. So tell me how much you know about the uh, the Spanish team. Have you have you covered that already? Uh, well, not. Um, we haven't actually covered particularly. Uh, uh, Aston uh, relayed quite a bit of the information earlier on from that which was in the programme, the little pen portraits. But um, no, personally, Eugene, I'm not uh, not that familiar with the Spanish players. I've played one or two of them here and there in odd tournaments, but. Um, they, a number of them are frequent visitors over to our big championships and have played in the uh, in the in the British Open. Yeah, yeah. The, the the Open Championship. I correct myself. Hmm. Um, so I mean, there's four. There's four Alvera Salas. There are four Alvera Salas. Two two of them are brothers. So yep. that's um, I believe uh, Manuel and Andres are are brothers. Not not Jose. Um, you know, I've got you yeah, know you've got me there. I don't know now. I okay. did know at the beginning. Yeah, I've lost. I uh, lost it. So we've got four Alvilo Salas. I think there's two, there are two brothers and two cousins, and uh, perhaps people can tell us on the chat, our Spanish friends, um, the relationship between uh, the relationship between all the, the Spaniards. I know there are at least two more uh, yeah. Alvira Salas. I've made uh, a good acquaintance with Luis, who's uh, playing at a slightly slightly lower level. Um, but came right across from Spain for the weekend to play in my uh, my home club at Phyllis Court in our, in our in our tournament a few years ago. Yeah. So uh, flying in for the weekend from Spain is not unusual. Well, it looks like it looks like England have just gone six one down. Yeah. Well done. That's well done, um, Gonzalo. That's Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Yeah. Well done, Gonzalo. Gonzalo, Gonzalo in the long long trousers. Yeah. So I've actually played um, Jose in Spain before. So, oh, you have, right. So, I, so I know a little bit about the Averisola family. Okay. So I've, um, oh, what's happened? Camera, camera two's gone off air. Right, okay, we'll switch to camera one. Uh, so okay. I think the camera, is, the camera link is gone. Um, it's like we're back. No, no, it's been oh, no, not. So that's, that's okay. uh, two. I think a battery's died or something. So okay. I'll go and change that in a second, but I'll All just, right. just um, saying that, um, uh, yeah, so so ah. I've, I've been to I've been to visit Harry F Harry Fisher. Thank you, Harry. They're all brothers. They're no, I, all think, brothers. I think one of is, them is, is that them. right? Is so right? Harry, 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 Jose, uh, Harry. and I have all played uh, in Spain. So we we were the, so a few of us have visited the house of Jose Riva, who's another Span top Spanish player. Yeah, we spoke about um, him earlier. Yeah, so he, so when we visited his his house to play croquet. Uh, the Alvarez Sala family have a family home right next door. Okay. So it turned out that the kids are all about the same age and they all used to come over and have play dates and they used right. to play football in the field and then they, and then they kind of got into croquet. Right. So anyway, that's, that's, that was just a bit of a, bit of a fun oh, well story. Done. That, well that basically there's, you know, there's a sort of, they all go and visit their, their, their grandparents who live, you know, next to each other. And so that's how so many Alvarez Salas all played. All happened to play. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think um, Jose Riva, this is not Jose uh, Alvarez Sala, told me that uh, they used to all just play together. That's why there's so many of so many of our sellers. Anyway, I'm going to go and sort out the camera for okay. camera two. So I'll leave you to yourself. Right. Eh? Uh, can you just, well, as you go by, please, Eugene? Uh, we're on. Uh, we're lo looking at our subsidiary camera at the moment. Can you just uh, straighten us, straighten us up a little bit there. For those of you look like me who don't like cockeyed pictures yeah. hanging on the wall, that's that's much better. Thank you very much. So we've not got a, a great zoom on this camera. It's more of a uh, give you an overview. Eugene's headed off down the uh, east, uh, sorry, the west boundary to our cameraman down in corner two, who's blissfully unaware that he's, uh, his efforts are not being broadcast to anyone. So uh, you're back with, uh, back with me alone in the commentary box, um, and we've got a hoop shot for Will G at hoop, hoop eight. And that one was sent through with great aplomb, and you can see the relief on the mat, on the uh, the player's face. He's missed a number of those, 
and so that was that was a crucial one. That was a match-saving shot. Um, Yellow was poised to have a go itself had he bounced off. So well done, Will. Let's hope that uh, is a sign of things to come from an English perspective. Uh, Harry Fisher has retracted his message about them all being brothers. So uh, this is the Alvirus Salas family. Uh, we have four of the, uh, the family playing today. Uh, two in front of you. And the Spanish side is completed by the late arriving Basilio Iglesias and Pedro Lozano. They're warming up at the moment uh, right down out of your view to the right on corner on uh, court number two. So they along with all the other players not involved in this match will be starting afresh all at the same time at the conclusion of this match will at the conclusion of this game will will start round two. Should England uh, pull back this uh, this six two deficit to tie this uh, this match, then uh, good that will be from an England perspective if they pull it off. But we will be suspending this match at the end of this game if it's not concluded with a Spanish win. So Will shooting across to just out of your view. I'll uh, see, oh, we've got camera two back in action now. So we're switched to camera two just in time. Oh, crikey, I was about to say just in time to see uh, Jose win the, win the match. Um, but uh, he won't be happy with that. That was a poor clang of hoop. Hoop nine. So England live again trailing as they are 6-2 so uh, in the chat sorry I'm just back from replacing some of the camera uh, the transmitter battery Oh, we've got, uh, uh, we've got Luis Alvarez Salat is watching from Spain. Yes. So, uh, good well, afternoon, Luis. Said, as you explained, Chris. Yeah. So you missed something. That's right. <laughs> lovely, to, lovely to have you with us. So, uh, you join um, 95 other viewers. Uh, see if we can get above the, uh, the magic 100. I've taken my eye off for a bit, so maybe we did. I don't know. Let's... Um, yeah, we're stuck at 96 at the moment. So how are we getting on? So it's 6-2. Oh, six, 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 okay. 6-2 to, to Spain. So not looking too good for the English boys, is it? No, we're looking, uh, looking down the barrels here a bit, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, sorry, I've been so busy running around, I haven't really followed the tactics. Has it just been uh, poor shooting from the England boys or yeah, well, good I'm play afraid, from the Spanish? I'm, yeah, I'm afraid to say we, uh, the English boys were, uh, were in the position they were um, at lunch. Um, it was rather of their own making. There's uh, some unfortunate, uh, well, p poor hoop shots, we'd have to say. Yeah. Um, Perhaps trying to force the game a little bit. So it was a couple of time, times I wasn't sure that there was a, a need to force the hoops as much as they did. Later in the game, of course, you're chasing the game. You've got to get right the way down the court. You need a strong hoop run. Just uh, running hoops in a pedestrian fashion is not going to help. But um, you really want to avoid being in that position in the first place. Yeah. 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 So. yeah it's. I think. I mean, it looks like the Spanish have been quite solid, haven't they? Or yeah, they have. They've been. They've been. They've been more solid than the English. Uh, English lads in this game that we've uh, we've watched, ball by ball. Yeah. 
Well, that's a good shot. So, um, so Gonzalo Gonzalo's gone played gone a nice promotion, promotion on yellow. So, yeah. so that forces Will's hand. Yeah. Um, so Will to Will to hit to to save the match really. Yeah. So, so what's he got about? Uh, we, just, we just get the cameraman to zoom in a bit. About, actually, si don't we? about six and a half yards. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, we're giving you such a long view. Unfortunately, we're not in contact with our cameraman at the far end. But Will gets that shot, um, and and holds position rather crucially. So um, this hoop is now uh, now back with no advantage to either side. So Jose yeah, plays need, back. We need it. Um, it's fine. We've got we've got camera one. We're on air with camera one. Camera one. one. So it's us here. Yeah. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, we need camera two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, to... camera one's got this annoying tendency to start displaying adverts. Oh, oh I see. Random, right. I wonder what was going on yeah. with that. It's, uh, yeah, all it's a technical sort of learning it. curve. Yeah. And that's a good that's shot a by good JP. Hoop. So that's an angled hoop from some. Uh, well, what do we say? Uh, seven yards, um, seven yards on an angle. So that's given England some hope. Um, training as they are now, six, uh, three, six. But uh, the blue's gone. Right, blue's gone a good way down, down the court. So we're probably. Uh, uh, he will have Gonzalo's red ball well covered. Oh, and we're, uh, we've broken the 100 viewers. Yay. Thank you very much, everyone. 104 of you now tuned in from all around, around, around the world. 107? I'm looking at 104. OK. Eugene's the expert. He's reading something I'm not. Does that not say 104? Oh, it's 106 now. Well, that oh, one I see. says 107. So. OK, we've so, got uh, yeah. conflicting numbers. But, yeah. um, What's anyway, happening? Nice to have you all with us. Um, for those of you, keep, I've said it earlier on, for those of you not aware of the chat, you can, uh, there's a button in your bottom right hand corner so you can follow what others have got to say and maybe contribute yourselves. And that's a super shot. That's a super shot. Really turning it on now, JP. Yeah, so JP's bypassing, just won. Bypassing all three other balls and uh, bringing England back into this at 6-4. It's game on. So they were 6-1 down, weren't they? They were 6-1 wow. down, yeah. So. Uh, Good all, effort, boys. All of a sudden, yeah. Playing the captain's innings role. Yeah, what, I can know. What's our phrase in GC? You don't say innings, do you? No, not really innings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Captain's turn, I suppose. Captain's it's, turn. It, it's turns in croquet, even though they are a GC's one stroke. It's still a turn, isn't it? Yeah. That's good by Will. Yeah. Right, so Will's in scoring. So uh, this one's um, going to be on. Captain JP Mobley with something approaching a 10 yard clearance, so it's um, taking preemptive action there. Uh, Jose clears the black ball, so in the event that we'll let uh, JP does clear red, as, we, as he still has to do, at least now uh, England wouldn't have a hoop shot. So. This is, uh, well, we'll just watch this shot before commenting further. It's all on this. Uh, you feel JP's got to make this one. Oh, and he's missed. He's missed and it. I think the game is up, England. Oh, that's going to be it, isn't it? This is Gonzalo. Gonzalo walking over with a bit of swag. He's, uh, he's feeling good about this. He's saying, come on, I'm he's, winning this for Spain. He's got uh, probably a yard and a half pretty well in front. The bread and butter shot. Yeah, nice steady technique. Oh, 
Oh, oh he's stuck in the jaws. Stuck. That might be enough, though. Well, that might be enough. Uh, well, blue. I don't know. Blues. When J when uh, J P missed a moment to go, of course, he came down off of the uh, the west boundary. Yeah, we'll just move the camera around so we can see. He's it. about uh, he's about hoop five high, so he is going to have a shot. We'll give you that angle, camera angle. In a moment. We can give you that camera that. angle. You can see where, so where you can the see, blue is. You can see the blue David, to the left left side of your screen. So uh, he can't see much of red. Red. It's hard to tell from there whether red runs or not. I think it looks like it runs to me. I'm going to get my binoculars out and have a look at that uh, from our commentary position to see if red runs. Um, it's a lot of uh, a lot of discussion going yeah, on here. Yeah, pretty there's sure. A, oh, red, a... red looks like it's well in. It's well slap bang in the jaws. Cameraman just did a bit of a risque risque zoom here. All yeah, oh, right. <laughs> Switching that right wrong moment. I just uh, zoomed okay. in on some of these shorts. So re oh, red's not quite in the jaws. Red's say, not. Mm. But red's red looks like it scores. So the debate here really between uh, Will and JP is: Does Will shoot from the? Uh, just out of your view there with the black yeah, I'll switch with across. the danger with the danger of the peel and the answer is no he doesn't he's gone across. into scoring position so he's leaving it all on JP's shot with blue coming immediately before red now it's not it obviously isn't a straightforward hoop run um, it's not Span trivial, is Spaniards it? have got a lot to say about this we could see uh, uh, match referee Frances Coleman brought in to play here soon. She's been ah. totally underutilised. Patricia Ducott says, uh, "Was that the commentator's curse? Maybe it was. Maybe we." Uh, uh, yes, I, I could. Uh, I could be the new Murray Walker. Uh, yeah. Very what good. could possibly go wrong now? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. Good afternoon. Okay, so Jose misses the red. So, so it's all on this from JP. JP uh, hitches up his trousers, does a little bit of arm swing. Clearly, he thinks it's a pretty big shot. It looks to me as though Red runs the hoop, but um, we'll see. And oh, he's got it. Well, he clipped it. I don't and think it's got, enough. He's got oh, the shot. He sinks to his think, knees. Yeah, I think he knows he's it's not enough. It's a, it it's a great shot. Oh, to, great shot position. to have hit half a ball from that distance. You'd oh, have to dear. say. But there it there is from Gonzalo, and uh, match uh, game and match point to uh, to the Spaniards. It's so a handshake a good going game, on. and you'd yeah. have to you had got to hand it to the Spaniards. They deserve that one. So well done, Spain. Yeah. Uh, win that win that game six uh, seven four. Uh, seven four also in the in the first game. Spain take a two nil lead in the match. And uh, you'd have to say on what we've seen so far on this court, it's a deserved lead. Yeah, so that's um, Spain with two match wins, right? And that's it's right, best yeah. of twenty one. So England yet to put a match on the on the board. Still some way to go. Some way to go. Right. So we we'll might take uh, a little commentary break for the moment. We'll leave you with the pictures of, of Hurlingham. Um, what's the, the next round, match about The round to start? two will be starting pretty straight, pretty well straight away, I think. So we'll be faced with um, on our, our feet. Well, we'll come to the featured match in a moment. But um, it'll be Aston Wade and Stuart Smith. It'll be Aston Wade and Stuart Smith will be playing uh, Manuel. The, late, the, the late arriving. Um, no, 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 it's, uh, it's Manuel Avarisala and Andres. Oh, Corey, I've got, got Lawn too, yeah. So on, uh, on, court, on court two, as far out of our view as we, can, uh, as we have, over to the right-hand side, we'll be having Stephen Mulliner and Richard Bilton, who uh, lost their first game, and they'll be playing against uh, the Spanish pair that we've just seen, Jose and Gonzalo Alvira Sala. Court three, um, just to the right of your view at the moment, will be the England pair that we've just seen JP Mobley, the England captain, and Will G will take on the late arriving Basilio Iglesias and Pedro Lozano. And our featured match in uh, hopefully not too long will be uh, my uh, erstwhile commentator 
Aston Wade and Stuart M. Smith will play Manuel and Anders Alvira Sala um, in our featured match on court four here very shortly. So we'll just uh, turn the commentary off for the moment and uh, hopefully we'll be back with you in uh, five or ten minutes. I'll just um, let me just. <laughs> just 
Okay, so we've uh, match has been restarted. Um, we're, that's the third ball coming in in our featured match, which is uh, Aston Wade and Stuart Smith for England against Manuel Alvarez Sala and Anders Alvarez Sala. Um, for just to orientate new viewers, uh, you're looking at uh, court four. There. That's a great clearance from uh, from Black. I've not uh, got my notes up yet as to who's playing with which ball. You'll forgive me. I've just run from the other end of the court. So I'm uh, rustling up a co-commentator, and hopefully, when all the matches are underway, our manager today um, is uh, England international Jonathan Powell, who's um, um, not involved in this game. He's got an injury, so uh, he's uh, he's the ringmaster, and I've. Uh, Hopefully, I have lined him up for a bit of co-commentary once he's got all three second round games underway. So, um, to the, the match in question, um, unfortunately we need to move the camera, so I think we've got Eugene Chang is going down to use our master camera down on, in corner four, and he's uh, trotting down there at the moment, so we'll have a better view for you rather than uh, the one currently displayed, which is the subsidiary camera. So, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't see past these players either. I've got almost exactly the same view as uh, you, you all. Um, and uh, that was a, a hoot miss from uh, from Manuel. I'm going to have to get the uh, the two Spanish boys worked out. So Manuel has got his cap on backwards. That's uh, that's how I'm going to tell the lads apart until I get to know them a bit better. So to uh, to orientate you, um, as anybody that's joining us, we're at the Hurlingham Club in uh, in uh, Putney, London, uh, just on the north bank of the River Thames, which as you look at the view here, is behind the trees to, uh, to uh, right in front to your left. And uh, Eugene's got that camera going now so we can switch to our primary camera. So we're giving you a view now from, who, uh, from corner two, looking back up towards the splendid Hurlingham main building. Uh, where a contest is uh, in progress at Hoop 1 in this first second round game, first second round match. So we've got Stuart Smith sending the uh, blue back into play from corner four thought he needed a clearance there, he's probably right. This is a hoop shot now from Anders Alvira Sala to give Spain a 1-0 lead if he can. And that's a pretty solid and confident stroke. A nice smooth stroke there, well rewarded with the first hoop of the game, 1-0 to Spain. As, uh, Aston has been forced, I think, by the position of blue. He couldn't go right down the court. He's had to go over to the left. But that's in a commanding position where he can clear anything that Spain put anywhere near the hoop. He can clear, clear, clear to the large west side of the lawn. Already this game is being played at a much faster pace than the one we, uh, we sat through this morning. Um, the second game um, of that match did pick up the pace a little. I don't know if uh, the manager had a word. Um, would have been justified if he had. And uh, things moved along in a more satisfactory fashion. Just trying to keep my eye on the, the chat. And uh, and for, I can't uh, only apologise for the uh, the contributions by uh, a spammer. Uh, that we'll have to try and ignore. We can't do much about that, I'm afraid. Let's 
So, not sure about that shot from uh, from Red. Stuart Smith puts in uh, a ball to a very good scoring position. Oh, the boat's rolled on. It's the court. The court's clearly speeding up here. Um, we've had a couple of shots in the in the last game over running, and that one seems to have gone too far as well. Um, Manuel's going down to have a look at it, but um, I can tell from here that's not scoring. By the way, I've just had um, something come through on uh, some of the messages saying that uh, we've been pronouncing Lozano wrong. Oh, have we? The Z is a TH. Is it? So, oh, okay. So we should so. be pronouncing it as Lozano. Lozano. And uh, right. he also did not pronounce Pedro how we say it. So okay. he introduced himself as Peter, didn't he? Should we call him Peter? Perhaps somebody on the chat could... Uh, could... could uh, yeah. Type out how we how we uh, should be pronouncing uh, Pedro. Pedro Pedro Lafano, Pedro, Pedro Lafano, Mr. Okay. Lafano's name. Well, I thought yeah. it was Pedro. Pedro. I played him at Cheltenham. I'm pretty sure he introduced himself at what sounded like Pedro, but maybe he was being uh, mm. kind to yeah, just... like English people who are rubbish. At when people pronouncing... when people mispronounce your names, yes. Chris and Robert, so those yes. two very common names. For yes, not, my one's difficult to get wrong. And uh, I'm sure you've got some variations on Eugene, have you, mm. over the years, Eugene? Surprisingly, mm. for quite a you know European name, there are yeah. quite a few pronunciations. I've had Eugene, Eugene, Eugene. Uh, um, the Spanish call me Eugenio. All oh, right. Yeah, I think it's, it exists in Spain as well. Okay. Eugenio. Um, yeah, Eugenio. Evgeny. I don't know. Anyway, right. Manuel's playing the next shot in to take position looks like Stu can't do much there so I think I think uh, Stu might maybe might promote yeah, Stu might promote Aston into position and then uh, yeah, Andre is my um, then, yeah, to block the to block the hoop shot we'll see yeah. a bit of a bit of a conflab between the uh, the England boys that's to, from your view um, we've got uh, Stuart, Stuart Smith on the on the right, and uh, the uh, Open champion Aston Wade with his hand on his hip there on your left. In the background, we've got the uh, lovely Hurlingham Main Club building. If there's a little hubbub you can hear in the background, there's uh, a couple of hundred people enjoying a dinner on the, a meal on the terrace. So Stuart Smith then to clear red and hold position. Can't of course send it too far. He's only got uh, the short boundary to work with, and he's chosen to do that and give uh, uh, Anders the the hoop shot. Hits the outside of the right wire. Gets a solid Hello. connection though, so it doesn't go anywhere. But, uh, we'll just turn the mic off for a moment because our uh, our corporate guests next door are making an announcement. Be back with you in a moment. Okay, so back with you with commentary. Uh, 
the social gathering announcer has um, finished his instructions to his guests, so uh, hopefully uh, that'll be all we hear from him. We've got the aeroplanes coming back over again from, on, from the Heathrow flight path, and uh, so hopefully that's not going to spoil your enjoyment. He said, as a very noisy trolley goes by, let me say. It's all part of the atmosphere, so. Anyway, no more hoop scored whilst, uh, whilst the commentary's been off. Hopefully you've been following it. We're at hoop two, Spain leading 1-0 in our featured match, Aston Wade and Stuart Smith against Manuel Alvarez Sala and Anders Alvarez Sala. Manuel is the player with his cap on backwards. So the, an effective clearance. Okay, so looking down uh, down the down the, the row of courts to the the next door court, we have uh, on court three next to us we have uh, J P Mobley and Will Will G that uh, were featured in that first game this morning. They're playing against the late arriving Basilio Inglesias and uh, we'll call him Pedro for the moment, Lothano. And uh, they're still contesting hoop one. And on the far court, court number two, we have uh, a 2 0 lead for a 2 0 lead for England. So, you can see the numbers but not the name on the scoreboard without the binoculars. So uh, England ahead on the far court. That's um, former world champion and uh, multiple championship winner Stephen Mulliner playing alongside Richard the Biltonator Bilton against uh, the Spanish pair that we saw this morning, Jose Alvarez Sala and Gonzalo Alvarez Sala. But back with our, uh, our featured match. Here we are at uh, contesting court, uh, hoop two with uh, Anders a clearance to keep the hoop alive. He has, that's a good clearance, Anders. So he sends Blue into the centre of the court. Should be a fairly easy return for Blue. And uh, Red will have a decision. Red will have to either clear Black to save Yellow or come in himself to clear wherever Aston puts blue. Blue can get a wired position here from red. That's uh, what Stuart's trying to indicate to him. So red is just out of your view to the right hand side. So that's, looks like that's gone slightly to here is uh, Manuel. So he's, he has got an open shot on blue and he's taking that on. I think that's wise. He might just be placing it. It's only got a little backswing, so no, he's just gone for a, a controlled clearance there. And now Stuart Smith to uh, keep the pressure on Spain. And over hits it. Uh, over hits it rather. He'll be disappointed with that one. Okay, so Luis has given me some Spanish pronunciation advice. Uh, apparently Mr. Lozano is called... Perico? Yeah, per Perico Lozano. Perico Lozano. Okay, there we are. And we're joined in the commentary by uh, Jonathan Powell. He did promise he'd come over, so welcome Jonathan. So Jonathan's uh, former... Well, not former, current England international, just not playing in this match. So, good afternoon. Uh, oh, hi, Chris. Nice Jonathan. Good to join you. There we are. 
Yeah, I, I think I knew. I don't know if this is Perico's name, Perico. whether it's his nickname or his anybody. So he's Perico, not Pedro, and it's Lozano, Lothar. not Lazano. So. Uh, <coughs> so just catching up with the state of play. So it's one 0 to Spain here. Yeah. Okay, so we're back with uh, back with the live commentary, and we have um, Anders Alvira Sala play, playing yellow. So Andres, yes, so he's, Andres, he's, yeah. he has a shot at the hoop, so it looks like he's taking it on. Close, no cigar. So this should be a fair. Uh, it's an angled hoop, isn't it? For uh, it's hard to tell from that. Uh, yeah, a bit looks, of angle. Looks, looks better from looks better from our, our position. Looks easier than this shot does for, from your broadcast view. Is, is Aston easy enough for him? So he levels the score at one all. Well, that might settle the nerves a bit. First, first match for these two. Updates from the other courts. Uh, we've still got no score on the adjoining lawn for JP Mobley and uh, Will G. But uh, England have, ex have uh, maintained their two hoop advantage and now lead Spain 3-1 in the game on court number two, which is uh, Malina and uh, Bilton against Jose and Gonzalo Alvaro Sala. So back with our featured match, it's one all. Stuart clearing, I think. Stuart clearing and missing, unfortunately, from an England perspective. We're back up to 100 viewers, so thank you to everyone that's uh, joining us. Okay, and apparently we're now uh, we're now got an alternative uh, alternative for um, Mr. Lozano's pronunciation of his name. Apparently, it's Pedro is how Pedro. it's pronounced. Pedro. Pedro is how it's pronounced, not Perico, because apparently that means parakeet or parrot. So, thank you very much, Stuart. Uh, don't know who that is. Stuart, Stuart, I can't read it. Stuart, somebody. Thank you, Stuart. I get clearance from Aston.
Okay, so, so that doesn't look like a good result for the Spaniards. Um, red and blue very close together there, that's hard to see. Jonathan's got better binoculars than me. What does that look like, Jonathan? Yeah, I think probably position Z for Andrew Zell. So I'm not sure <laughs> what they can do about black in this turn. He's, he's just going to take position, blocking yellow. Uh, ye yellow. Uh, Sorry, yellow to play, probably blocking block, blues. Block, blue, blue shot on red, red deals with black. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that makes sense. Uh, we're joined by uh, Stuart Lawrence watching from Massachusetts. So, uh, getting our our, uh, our country representation up by one there, I fancy. So, uh, good Hello. afternoon, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. Super hope. Ah, yeah, I see it's now. So it was Stuart uh, Stuart correcting our our pronunciation of Pedro. There we are. <laughs> So, uh, so there's 2-1 Spain. Difficult to know whether red is block is wired from red. Red hasn't been put onto the boundary, so. Uh yeah, we must be fairly confident where it goes, but it could be more useful. Two pretty good approaches. Yeah, lovely pace. Lovely That's pace. really good. Quick update from the other courts. Uh, on court three next to us, uh, England lead 2 1. And on the far court, court number two, England lead 4 2. I was trying to base it at that. Okay, we're just trying to sort out our secondary camera there, and now we've got um, Andres with a lovely hoop shot to extend Spain's lead to 3 1. Oh, we've got a bit of mon monster, monster panning there from our cameraman. We didn't know he was going to do that. Hope uh, that one's not made uh, made you all feel too sick. He's trying to get it on the scoreboard for you there. Look, so uh, we can tell you it's going to be three-one to Spain when the the Hurlingham lady there uh, puts up the score. There's the three games of progress. Whoa! Slow down with your panning. Feeling well, ill. Yeah, definitely switch wow. to one if that's the case. Yeah. Just uh, switch yeah. cameras while he does that. He's, yeah. Uh, the thing is, it, yeah. you, you, he doesn't realise. So no. It's a bit it's he, difficult. No. 
Okay, so I think he's. That uh, might have blocked. I think our camera yeah, is more, more static with his camera now. We'll go back to. Uh, we'll go back to our primary camera. Gives us a, a bit more of a closer view. So uh, here we are at contesting hoop 05. Just looks like red is blocking red's clearance on. Sorry, yellow's clearance on blue. So Stuart's just taking position. Anders took a good look at that, see what he actually can see. He's, uh, looks like he's going for it, so he's. Well, if he had a clear shot on five, I think he must have been obscured slightly because he, uh, he missed that by a little way, didn't he? He was put off yeah. there a bit by the presence of. Uh, the red ball. So we're just uh, just swapping over batteries. So we've gone to our backup camera as Aston Wade doesn't score hoop five. Looks at it in disbelief, and it's been a bit of a feature, as I was saying earlier on. The uh, England players in particular, we've been uh, bouncing off what one would have thought was relatively easy, easy hoop shots. So whether it's the uh, Atkins quadway hoops that are giving us trouble, or over ambition, thinking about the uh, the position after running the hoop, it's hard to tell. But uh, not for the first time, England have a clang, and. Uh, yeah, a bit of a debate going on here to what to do next. Red obviously hasn't got a clear view of the hoop. So yellow's miles away. He's got the. Is he going for the jump here, Jonathan? What would you do? I, I think that the jumps. England are all over this yeah, hoop, aren't they? Without the jump. Diff difficult to win it. Any other it, way. Any other way. Yeah. Um, so I suspect. So here we go with uh, Manuel's effort. Was he? Uh, no, he's just, is he, a, is he doing the jump? Yes, here we go. So you've got a good view of this, everyone. Didn't, uh, missed, missed completely, I think. Yeah, missed completely, didn't get that right. A wince. Right. Yeah. Manuel. So, uh, a bit of a free shot now here for Stu. So he, he can go at this one a bit to try and get good position for six. There's nothing really to be lost. And a nice hoop shot, if anything, he's uh, come through a bit too strong and he's going to go pretty well to the, yes, almost exactly to the south boundary. Which, uh, north boundary. Sorry, north boundary, north yeah. boundary, thank you, Jonathan. But uh, keeping England in the game at 2-3. Uh, I think both the balls are offside, so they're just adjusting those. Um, they've left the one on the north boundary. Oh, it'd be quite nice when it's when it's. Um, Do you want it back on? If if, uh, if, yeah. if you've got enough plugs, yeah. yeah. That'd be good. And we're just uh, organi organising our own comfort here, everyone. We've got a, a nice fan to my to my right hand side, which is very welcome. So uh, we're just in Eugene, uh, technical expert. He's just making sure he's got enough plugs for me. <laughs> So it looks like yellow has been placed so it is wired from black on the north boundary. So Aston is going to have to probably do something about yellow from here, either clear it or run the hoop. But I'm not sure whether he's got a double. Need, You've uh, probably got a better view from the camera than I have. We need a much closer view uh, from our cameraman. Unfortunately, he likes giving us the uh, the big wide shot all the time. We don't need. Uh, so missed so, both, yeah. So much of the hurling a mistake, unfortunately, but we can tell you you missed there if you couldn't see it for yourselves. Absolutely, 
this occasion. You see this. This is unwanted. So Spain looking good now with two scoring balls in front of heap six. Both of England's uh, okay. right. are off the north boundary. So it actually sh Stuart Smith is uh, shooting at yellow. And missing by, well, by a, a foot or two, so you won't be pleased with that one. And uh, Andres looking to extend Spain's lead. With an uncontested heap shot. And he does. So that's, uh, that's now 4 to to Spain on this court. News from the other courts, um, court, court 3, which is the um, the JP Mobley, Aston um, Will G against uh, Inglesias and Lozano. Uh, the score there is 3-2 uh, to England. And on the far court, England lead 5-3 in the Bilton, uh, Bilt, Bilton and Mulliner match. It's been interesting. The, the Spanish hoop running has been impressive. I think much more mm. sort of smooth, nice, smooth strokes going yeah. through, going through yeah. sort of nice control through the hoops. Do you think that makes a difference in these I, I think it. I, I think it does. It's. I mean, it depends on the ground, but so these are a, a bit more giving than they might be on very hard ground. Um, but it's. In hard ground, they're difficult to bully. You'll get yeah. rejected. So yeah. smooth, controlled strokes are probably better than yeah. thr thrashing. And I think we've got a few thrashers in England. Well, not, not oh, no, no, thrashers, not thrashers. But, no, yeah. but their, their default mode is to, to go hard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So from the uh, from the chat, um, Stuart in Massachusetts is asking, "Is that Jonathan Powell on the microphone?" It certainly is. So. Um, Jonathan, uh, it is, yeah. Hi, yeah. hi, Stuart. And uh, Gabrielle asks, "How is Basilio doing?" And good luck to the Spanish team from Jerez. Um, Basilio is um, on the adjoining court to us, and uh, he and his partner um, uh, Pedro Lozano are trailing uh, the English pair Mobley and. Uh, G by four four hoops to two. I mean, all the Spanish team left Spain this morning, so it's been quite a long day for them all already. Right. And Basilio and Pedro or Perico, they left um, from southern Spain, arrived in Gatwick, got a taxi here, arrived about four o'clock. So it's not been a perfect um, preparation for them, but. I'm sure they'll be fine. So it's true, I'm trying to run the hoop from the boundary. And does so very nicely, well lovely control. Yeah. And he's uh, run that with some aplomb down to maybe 15 feet short of uh, hoop seven, hoop eight. And is coming down. That looks like it's over, going to be overrun. That's overdone by Andres. So, good chance here for England with a good position from Aston with his blue and quite a big area for black to put yellow behind the hoop at a wide position. Just see if we can get our second camera back into action because it will be much better for this one. Eugene, what do you touch on the camera to just yeah. tap the tap the
So Aston came off a bit short there. Looks like red has come into position blocking black on yellow. So Stuart may choose to go for the hoop here. He's so we can, uh, sorry Jonathan, we're just switching to our uh, subsidiary camera. It's a bit of a wide view, but it's a better view for, for you from our commentary position here in corner one. Right, that's two good, that's, good hoops from Stu. That's two good hoops from Stu, so yeah. we're really on fire there. So Brings it back to four all. Four all, great. So, uh, so, we're in, so we're four all. And our great from an, an England perspective. For me, it's great <laughs> from our England perspective. Sorry, Spanish, <laughs> our Spanish viewers. Um, so four all in our featured match. Uh, five two to, to England in the uh, Mobley and G against Anglesias and Lothano match on the adjoining court and in the far distance um, five four to Mullano and Bilton. Five four to Mullano and Bilton against Jose and Gonzalo. So this round at this moment looking good for England. That's a great clearance. Great clearance by Wade. It'd be interesting to know what the pace of the lawns are in terms of uh, plumbers. And we haven't actually tested it yet. We might do that later sure. just to see if we can get a, a feel for it. But they're, they're yeah. quick. So I would uh, say for, for people who don't get uh, understand the, uh, the the what we mean by plumbers. Do you want to elaborate on that, well, Jonathan? It's, uh, it's, 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 it's essentially the number of seconds the ball takes to be hit from the southern to the northern boundary, or the other way around, and the quicker the lawn the more seconds. So 10, 11, 12 is getting quick, 8, 9, slow. And I would have thought these are probably 11 seconds, maybe maybe a bit more. We'll check later. So a little bit of uh taking advantage by the commentator. I'll take the opportunity to say good afternoon to a couple of uh, members of my own club who've tuned in in the last hour. So hello Colin Morgan and uh, just recently joined us uh, relatively new member uh, Colin Hall. So good afternoon Collins. I did say I'd mention anybody who joined, <laughs> who joined in. So welcome fellas. Another hoop rejection there for Manuel. It's difficult to see what blue has got in terms of a hoop chance, but yeah. anyway, yellow is clear. It looks quite angled for blue. It does, doesn't it? Manuel's having a, having a good look at that as uh, we're looking over the shol shoulder of uh, Andreas. Just, just a to... And he's missed blue. So we're just going to switch to our big. Our, uh... Yeah, okay, we're on, we're on camera one at the moment, so that's good. You got it? Can't actually work out whether he's moving, well, he's moving getting, red. Getting, yeah, no, he's moving red. Yeah. It's hard to get the angle sometimes. Yeah. What, what they're doing, isn't it? So. 
So this is a crucial ninth heap. I mean, oh, going, well, going five four up is. So we've, uh, we've we've lost the pictures entirely at the moment, so we'll have to keep uh, not missing anything at the moment. Uh, no balls in a tremendously good place in front. We've got the uh, coming back now. So um, we want our subsidiary camera. Straightened up a bit. So Yeah, you're step counting, aren't you, Chris? Adjusting these cameras. Hopefully that's a little straighter. Shall I can't zoom in anymore with that camera as far as I know. You can zoom in, but can it's we? just a bit hard to it's that button yeah. on top, but Okay. It doesn't look as though okay. Aston likes that, so he's looks like Red's going to be able to move black. The red does move black, uh, so sells himself right down to the uh, right down to corner three. But uh, Stuart Smith knows them. Um, those yellows, yellows going for the hoop with the next shot, so he's got a longest clearance here, good halfway across the court. And he stood up, doesn't like the look of that, so uh, this will be a hoop, hoop shot for the lead for Anvers. Yeah, nice hoop. Right? And that's a nice hoop. Yeah, very good. So, nice hoop, a great position right the way down the court. He's, uh, what's that, about uh, five, four, five, five, yards? five yards from the hoop, I think. Five slightly yards slightly angled, and red is on the northern red. northern boundary near, yeah. near corner three. In a legal, so. in a legal position, off, yeah. uh, having come off that clearance. So, 5 4 to Spain. And no change on the score in uh, the adjoining court, still 5-4, five, 5-3 five, um, in the, uh, the Mobley G game, 5-3 they lead and on the far court it's um, Spain have come right back into it, so one on Spain, 5 all down there. Well Stuart's thinking about this, he's in corner four working out what to do, I mean it, I would have thought okay. that he just needs to put one in here. Um, blue is going to be clear to the boundary. I thought. I mean, he may be thinking that yellow may go for the hoop. So we'll just watch him play this sh shot from the, from yeah, he's just corner putting, four, putting a ball in. and then we'll follow switch over now to uh, our feature camera. Yeah, get right in there, cameraman, if you can. That's yeah, that's a good shot. So we, don't, we don't have any communication with the cameraman uh, down there in, co in corner two. I've been talking. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think we did. Uh, Pretty sure there's a. <laughs> We've got an invasion of young girls with. Um, look like look like they're heading off to the beach. I'm pretty sure there's a sign that says "Don't walk between the courts," <laughs> and they've just ignored that absolutely completely. Oh no! Um, the <laughs> uh, stay focused, lads. So, yeah. So I just decided that best to run the hoop and misses. And the, young lady, oh. and the young lady is going to come back. So, uh, 
There we are. It's a public right of way after all. <laughs> so Stuart, not quite sure whether he can run it from there. I mean, we think he can obviously put it in the jewels, but whether he can run it or not is a different matter. It, I think had he had it been a certainty, I think Aston would have tried to get across to hoop eleven, but hasn't done that. What's he going for here? Is he? Okay, well I think nobody's confident that Black can run the hoop, so Manuel puts her ball in behind. So it's just out of your view, both both sets of players uh, maybe come back into view. A long chat there by uh, the England boys deciding what's to their, their best advantage here. Yeah, with red there, the jewels is not an option, so just dropping it in behind, probably wired from red is... Particularly well, one man was Manuel was shaping as if to jump it, wasn't he? I think he was working working out earlier on whether whether it was jumpable. So he's uh, elected not. So Stu's taken the taken the long term option. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's, uh, that's surprising. That's a poor that's a poor miss from Andrews. Um, that's. Uh, I mean, he may have been thinking about getting across to hoop 11, and you know, I've... Yeah, he, hit that, he hit that jolly hard there, didn't yeah, he? For, yeah. for, for, for going for a, some kind of smart in front of hoop 11 yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. England now 6-3 in the uh, Mobile G uh, against Anglesias and Lothano match. Well, first game, I should say, of their match. Yeah, it'll be good for JP and Will. A bit rocked by that first game, I think. That first they were, match. They, uh, they were not on song at all. There was a number of uh, yeah. close yeah. hoop misses. So yeah. and, um, the more the game got out of control, the games got out of control, the more uh, the more they think they tried to force it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was certainly a bit of that. Not, not, not like the... Uh, not a good recipe. Uh, So I'm not sure what the options are here, apart from putting it in behind them through the hoop. I think that's, I'm not assuming that that's what uh, Black's lined up. Yeah. So, yeah, I think he was just th trying to thrash that through and getting getting lucky yes. if he getting lucky if he got it straight. So. Interesting one now for Stu. Well, Stuart takes takes the hoop. Uh, I kind of tend to overthink these things. I wonder whether um, jawsing it and uh, getting a promotion or. Uh, I think a, a I think with with red and the... red and yellow yeah. so far away from hoop yeah. eleven, it's probably a sensible to take the hoop there. Yeah. Um, yellow's offside, but they they've left it where it is. So that's going to be good for Manders. So, yeah. yeah, nice shot. Yes, yeah, yeah, great pace. Yeah, that's right. Manuel likes that one. So, so, so do they do they clear with blue or do they put one in here? Big decision for Aston and Stu. Yeah. 
I think they're putting one in. I think they're putting putting one in and leaving their clearance to the Stuarts Black. So this is bold stuff from England. So Just a bit wide, I think, probably. Yeah. Not perfect, but... Not, not a disaster. So yeah. what we don't need now from an England perspective is this red to block the black shot on yellow, and it hasn't, so yellow is open. Yellow is now perhaps blocked from the hoop, and I don't think that's going to change the decision making here. Still got to move it. Great shot. And that's a great shot by Stuart. He's, uh, he's crossed with himself. I mean, he's got an absolute full ball on the blue, so uh, his black stayed very much in the vicinity but unfortunately just ran into his partner, Aston Wade Blue, which uh, robbed, robbed Aston of any hoop shot he might have had. But um, I, I think it would have been more of a disaster if Blue couldn't see red. I think it can yeah, just I see red, so yeah. I think... Um, I think we're all right on that score. It's difficult for us to see here um, exactly what view you've got at home. Um, we've got a multi-screened monitor. Hopefully those of you watching on a reasonably large monitor can make out the colours of the balls, but it is tricky into the sun. Um, you've got to pretty well pay attention if uh, some of the balls go all dark, you're going to figure out which are which. But, um, so that's a miss by yellow. Blue can see, blue can see red. A strong clearance now by uh, by Aston Wade with blue, sending red into corner three, will uh, really put England in the in the box seat at this hoop eleven. Somewhat uh, pivotal hoop, you'd, you'd think, but with the score five five. And that's a super shot. So he's held position himself as well. England have got two balls in front. Spain up against it now. So a quick update on the the Mulliner Bilton against. Jose and Gonzalo, which went to England the first game 7-6 to Mulliner and Bilton. So I looked down the looked down the court there, what's what occurred? That's um so black, has been, black has been moved. Black has been moved, got a clearance, so Black's going to come back into position. So you'd think this is kind of putting off, uh, putting off the inevitable by, by Spain, but um, England's still got to convert, and they haven't yes. managed that at every opportunity this morning. So uh, Spain putting one in here. I mean, both blue and black are, you know, a few yards off the hoop, so neither of them are certain hoop shots, and Spain has a chance to clear one of them. Hello. Sorry, it's blue to blue to go, deciding whether to clear yellow or just run the hoop, I think. Or put one in. He may just be putting one in here. Yeah, he's gonna That's a bit I think he's just gonna put one in. Yellow. Put one in. So he's put one in. So red has got to. Red, black is going to clear yellow. So red's, so. red's a long way off. Red's yeah. near, near the near the penalty mark on the east bound, on the uh, west boundary. He's going to have to move one of those balls, I think. Those two are charging right. I've changed the. Changed the So Manuel out of your out of your shot and misses Black at uh, halfway across the court. So Stuart to clear yellow. Stuart clearing yellow and holding position well. So uh, 
got to be questioned about whether Yellow can actually see blue from where he's put it. He's put it pretty well on the south boundary, um, over toward the line of hoop one, hoop, uh, hoop four. So on the angle, let's have a look at the, the body language of Anders. Well, you can see something. He's um, he's on on the crouch, playing the stroke straight towards you. And on your view, we could do with a closer view, please, cameraman. He's having a look at that, and he's clanged the hoop. That was hard luck. Was good effort. So this is going to be 6-5 to England. Ashton coming if, up. If yeah. Ashton runs it. If Ashton <laughs> runs it. Uh, it's a commentator's curse I was accused of earlier on. No. Ashton's uh, firmed up the hoop uh, by leaning on it slightly. That's uh, all in order. And a nice smooth run hoop. Come on, red blue ball. Okay, it's par that's a passable run through the hoop at 6 5. An update on the Mobley G against Iglesias and Lothano. Uh, first game to England, 7-3. Just starting the second game. on this camera. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, we're just offline a bit in terms of the commentary with a bit of technical instruction going on in the background, so we'll turn you off for the moment. So we'll just um, let's wait for this hoop. Well, let's um, this is take the game. Super game. So yeah. uh, we're back in back in time with our commentary to 
be able to bring you the news that England have won that game at 7-5. And um, a bit of a shout out to Toby Savage uh, in, in tuning in. Hello, Toby. Um, you can see uh, Toby with, uh, everyone can see, rather a lot of unwanted um, spam, I'll call it, chat. Um, Eugene has suggested that uh, we make you the moderator of the chat, Toby. So um, I'm in uh, uncharted waters here when I say that, but um, I think that gives you the rights then to, uh, to be in charge of the chat. Um, perhaps you'd like to add a comment if you're, if you're able to, to tell us whether you'd be prepared to do that. Um, I guess Eugene will be able to... We can add a few other moderators. Oh, we can add a few other moderators as well, add, but um, so you could just, yeah. You just so if anybody. Yeah, Toby, I'll just allow you to clear the spam. It's probably easier. We're, it's quite tricky to do it from here as well as do the camera changing and movement and commentary. Let's see if he spotted that. So 1-0 uh, up across the all three games for England. Um, just getting underway on court two. Just Richard Bilton trying to run the first hoop but fails. And on court three, England 1-0 up. No, 2-0 up. Just, just going to pop down and have a word with our cameraman in corner two. I'm just going to turn off the commentary for a bit until the players come back for the start of the second game.
Yeah. Okay, so um, we're uh, back live again with the second game of, uh, of our featured match, um, but we're also just in time to say goodbye and thank you very much for all his efforts technically um, and uh, on the microphone to Eugene Chang, who's going to jump back on the train and go back to Sheffield. So thanks very much for coming down and setting everything up for us, uh, Eugene. And um, Martin from um, Hurlingham here has got, um, I don't know, what's your surname, Martin? Martin, Martin, Reed. Martin Reed has uh, has got all his instructions of which cables go where um, to set us all up for tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get continued broadcast throughout. Enjoy. So, Thank uh, you very much for having me on the... Okay. Yeah. So, uh, thanks to, thanks to uh, all the beside, behind the scenes people, Martin, all the Hurlingham members and all the Hurlingham IT staff who have made all this possible. Yeah, absolutely. Here, here for that. And uh, wish you... A good, uh, good ride home. Help me get catch a train, Eugene. Good luck on a Friday night getting out of London. <laughs> right. So uh, we're back with me, Chris Roberts, um, on my own in the commentary box at the moment. So uh, I'll uh, endeavour to keep you keep you entertained. So our featured match to, for those of you uh, tuning back in. Okay, Martin's going to go down uh, and uh, man our camera down in corner two. And uh, so our featured match is um, Aston Wade and Stuart Smith for England, playing uh, blue and black respectively, against Manuel and Anders Alvira Sala in playing red and black respectively. So uh, for uh, to differentiate the players, um, apart from the balls, Aston's got the shades and uh, Manuel for Spain has got his cap on backwards. So, uh, so we're on our static camera from just outside the commentary position, um, giving us a reasonable view at the moment and we'll switch to our, our uh, primary camera down in court two once this hoop has been run. Uh, Jonathan Powell is coming back into the commentary uh, box so uh, That'll give me some respite. Um, it's been quite a lot of chat that I'm um, going to have to try and get hold of. Um, just have a quick look at that. Mike Hux has asked, did the uh, Alvaro Sala relationship, family relationship ever get resolved? Um, we did have an offer that they were all brothers, which was uh, uh, then uh, then pulled back. So at least two are brothers. Do you know, Jonathan, um, view on the uh, yeah, family all, relationship yes, of all, all the brothers? Yes, all, all brothers. Yeah. Oh, they are all brothers? Yeah, oh, okay. all, all four. Right, simple as that. And their father is here, the president of the Spanish Croquet Federation, watching from the sidelines. Oh, OK. We have uh, some other luminaries here present. Uh, David Openshaw, the, uh, the name you'll know from the Openshaw Shield, um, former England uh, uh, captain in the McRobertson Shield from the uh, 90s, I should think. See from the 90s, eight, late 80s, 90s. Sorry, um, don't, don't know. But so, uh, uh, a, a real croquet name. I tried to get him into the commentary box just now, and uh, he's promised to come and uh, give us his wisdom tomorrow. So, that's to look forward to. So it looks like Blue's hit the spot there. It does. Oh, yeah, has it got the... Uh, not sure where the, the, can, the view Oh, we can, yeah, so yeah, the, going to clear black. The viewer's view from the other end. Uh, red's got a shot on black. Oh. It was tight. Uh, it was tight. Clears his own ball. How often have we all done that? So Stuart's got an angle, but... Um, Jaws, I think, probably here. Jaws has got to be the option, hasn't it, here? Or block. Yellow on blue, but I think, yeah, Jaws. 
Oof, just Ooh, a bit up just against about. The... And, yeah, and it rolled back, and no wonder he had a second look at that. Uh, it was in the jaws and then rolled back out. So, um... Yeah, I thought it was stuck on the wire, but actually, it's not looking at the camera, the camera is much better view. It's sitting yeah. there. It's but... sitting up. One of those tricky ones, so, you know, what is he clear? I don't sure that red can see either, can see blue, so... Maybe it can. Looks like he's going for black. Right, that's a, that's a tricky one. We'll just switch to, to camera one to give you an alternative view there of what we've got, so everything's in a row. Yeah, so what to do? Options. Blue. One, blue jumps, unlikely. Blue clears yellow. Blue Possible. Blue clears yellow to the big side of the court, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Meanwhile... Uh, blue leaves, does nothing. Just leaves yellow there, which is stymied for the next two. Yeah. Um, Manuel's at the far end of the court could upset the apple cart with the, some kind of monster clearance through the hoop. So... Uh, Manuel has got red on the uh, north boundary with a clear, clear shot up. Oh, sorry, we'll, um, I'm getting one shot ahead. We've got blue to play first. Yeah, so I think because yellow is, I mean, they're you know a bit of a punt, but it's I think <laughs> the odds of clearing black are slim. So here goes Manuel uh, from the north boundary. And yellow would be left in a he's difficult a, position. He's got to run the hoop to clear. He likes it. Oof, um, that was quite close. That was quite close. Not ideal for Stuart here, just hampered. Yeah, straightforward though. Straightforward. Uh, not trying to get anything more than score the hoop there, so 1 0 to England. Seeing a slightly hampered shot there, um, that, one, uh, that one didn't require a referee, but uh, I'm not too sure that our match referee, Francis Coleman, has been uh, utilised too much. Has she been on tour, Jonathan? I don't, think she's, I don't think she's been I called once. She's been called once, no, so... Uh, she's remained alert, ready yeah. to leap onto her. Yeah, she's, uh, she's there poised. You can just make out... Uh, just make out Francis uh, standing in the uh, the centre of your screen in the um, in the tent, uh, looking towards the the right. Uh, lady in the pink hat is our referee for today, Francis Coleman. Or referee all weekend, I think. So. Uh, so news from the other courts. On court two in the Will G. And uh, JP Mowgli against uh, Basilio Iglesias and uh, Pedro Lozano. Uh, the score there is 4-1 uh, to England, who also won the first game 7-3. So all going England's way over there. And in the, on the far court, um, England having won the first game 7-6. Now, uh, trail. I think. Yeah. Yes, they trail. Uh, Spain 3-1 in the second game. So we'll come back to, uh, sorry, missing the camera action. To camera two. Stuart sails by there. That's unfortunate. Yeah. You would expect this to be cleared. That's a good shot. It gives Aston a bit of a double from... Yellow clears blue. Aston now to put the ball back in. Just move the camera around. That's a good shot. Good shot. Nice clearance of red.
So we're trying to come into a warrior position from black that doesn't quite get there, so black will clear red from here. Stu not really getting a centre ball there has uh, conceded the advantage here to, to, uh, to Spain. Do you would expect Aston to stick one in here? The camera, the camera keeps going to these options. No time out. Yeah. Well, I suppose it. Yeah, so Stuart marked the spot. Aston sticking one in. That's very good. That's very well judged. So I expect red to be put into position, hopefully blocking black on yellow. Um, and if black clears yellow, they would expect to clear blue. So I expect him to put one in, but we'll see. Completely wrong. Going to clear black. So good shot that. Um, bit of pressure on Stuart here because red has cleared black and gone to a position on the north boundary just not far away from hoop three. Well, on the north boundary about four yards away from corner three so well positioned if this doesn't clear yellow. Doesn't like it. Does like he it. Does like Great it. shot. Yeah, he stood up. There. Just, he stood up there and walked away as if. My uh, reading of body language <laughs> is clearly poor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he just obviously loved it. Loved it. Walked <laughs> away confidently, and we misinterpreted that. So uh, good shot, Stuart. As we said before, we're pretty well back to square one. I mean, you know, uh, nothing in front of the hoop, and uh, all starting from a long way off. Yeah, I mean, important for England is it means that red is coming back from its position in front of hoop three, um, whatever happens. Expect a red to be put into position. Uh, a little bit of yeah. a hit, Aston. He doesn't like that. I'm not surprised. He's in a commanding position to control the hoop from there, but there was a, a missed opportunity for a, a good position. England up 4-2 on court two. It's the Mobley G. Inglesias Lothano match. Red taking a very, that's a strange line, that's, that must have been a miss hit, he's gone way too far and behind the hoop for, for his angle, oh, no maybe not, maybe well, I think, no, yeah, maybe think, think I can see what he's done now, yeah he's gone uh, gone very deep to uh, 
to the west to uh, yeah, no, knock, in, out, knock out Blue's command of the hoop, hasn't he? Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah. if Blue takes position, Red should be all over it. But Yeah. So Red has gone uh, way past the hoop over to the right of your view as, uh, as, we, as we look at Hoop 2 with the Hurlingham main building behind us. Difficult for the Spaniards here. Um, and he puts one in tight and it's going to be moved by Blue. Looking for a deep position perhaps. But it also looks as though Blue, if it doesn't have to clear yellow, will be able to block Red's clearance on black. So I think they probably want to force Blue to do something apart from sit on that line. So I think the answer is to put one in, but we'll see. Maybe slightly deep. Oh, clearing black. Good shot. And he gets it. Stuart saying to Aston, can you put it in the jewels, please? <laughs> Aston saying, ah, perhaps not. Aston saying, OK, I'll give it a go. sailed by. So it's, it's like breaking commentary. We had a visitor and we just muted the, the microphone for a bit. So that's England um, dispatched yellow off to the uh, right up to the uh, south boundary. Red looking to take position. It's got a block. Not sure if he's got the block on. Blue's hoop shot or not? Would Blue take that on? Hmm. Seems unnecessary risk. We'll see. Black's got to come in and uh, Blue take care of Red, isn't it? 
Yeah, I would have thought. Would have thought yeah, so. yeah. On the court two match, England now lead 5-2. That's Mobley and G against Iglesias and Lothano. And on the far court, uh, Spain lead 4-2. And that's uh, Mulliner and Bilton against Jose and Gonzalo Alvillo Sala. Well, it looks like she has so, decided to clear red. Yeah. So. Gentle clearance. Gentle clearance, but missed. Might as well have gone full tilt at that, wouldn't he, really? This couldn't have gone much further. Is, uh, looks like a very good shot. It does. But it may make it tricky for Red. I don't know. It's difficult to say. It's possible yeah. also for Aston yeah. to do a double clearance. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure whether he's got the hoop shot here. Um, it's hard to tell whether he's got the hoop shot, isn't it? A cameraman getting in nice and close needs a slightly better angle from where he is. Can't move, but um, not sure whether we've got uh, the hoop shot or not. Uh, stay nice and tight, please. <coughs> Looks like jump. Looks like the jump. So we've got a good view of this one. Gets it up, but did he? It was kind of a free jump, wasn't it? Because I think the... Uh... Yeah, it was difficult to see uh, what, what he could have done. Yeah, I couldn't um, see anything else there, really. Whether, well, whether he could have cleared both, but mm. he wouldn't have had a ball in front afterwards. So, yeah. so one, one all. Great pace from Stuart. Looks as though that's dead in front. A miss from Anders. So, confident hoop shot there from Stuart, um, making sure of the, of the hoop, not, uh, not trying to thrash it down too far. Taking the lead while he can, that's 2-1 to England. In the adjoining court, uh, G and Mobley lead 
Inglésias and Lothano by five hoops to three, having won the first game 7-3. And uh, a bit of a delay on the port from the far lawn, the players are standing in front of the scoreboard, I can't see it. <laughs> A great approach from the Spanish in front of hoop four. So it looks like Aston is trying to clear this one. And doesn't. I think it was close. But, yeah, uh, close A little conservative approach there from uh, Gonzalo, unless he was going for the block, he might have actually got it actually. And, uh, Stewart's got to hit the yellow now. Very close in on the ball, so we're not seeing uh, the player. Strikes now, and he gets the red, so the red was doing an effective job on yellow, protecting it, so uh, well done Spain. Good effort, Stu. Yellow's still got the hoop shot. So, um, you know, you've got a foreshortened view there. I'd say this is uh, probably eight feet, maybe less. Looks like dead in front. If money, if money would be on Andres from that. Yes, have a thought, think about it. But scores and two all. Where we are. Two all in this game. England now lead 6-3 on court two, so closing into a match win there, having won the first game. Um, that's the uh, Mobley G match. And uh, finally the players are out of the way of the scoreboard on the on the far court. Spain lead that, uh, that game 4-2. Uh, so Spain keeping themselves very much alive on the far court. That's the Mulliner, Bilton, Jose Don and Gonzalo match. Uh, look to be under the cosh to Spain in the uh, in the game on the next court with uh, Mobley and Mobley and G. And as you can, uh, as you've been following this one, it's two-two, so everything to play for in this rubber. Okay, we can see on the uh, on the live chat that um, various people are trying to sort out uh, our spam. So thank you for that uh, on behalf of everyone. Uh, technically beyond uh, beyond us here in the commentary, we've got better got uh, our hands full with the act of the real action. Sorry, just looking at the spam. I don't seem to be able to clear it from from here. I, don't know, I think Toby's trying as well, so... Uh, switching you back to camera one so to orientate you've now got this is from the uh, from corner one with the hurling and mail main building over your right hand shoulder um, I'll try and straighten that up in a minute or two
twist it right a bit. Keep going, yeah, a bit further. Okay, that's good for now. Yeah, that hoop's really wobbling now. That move don't almost came out in Stuart's hand. So uh, Stuart Smith now for giving England the lead. And there's a smooth stroke here to get down to six as well. And he likes that. That's going to roll right down. That's a good perfect. shot, Stuart. That is perfect. So 3-2 to England and in excellent position for hoop six. Meanwhile... Mabel and G have just won the match, 7-3, 7-3. Yeah, brings the match score to um, one to England, two to Spain. Yeah. Great clearance from Manuel. Spain now, Spain now five two up in the game on the far court. So. Um, Mulliner and Bilton up against it, against Jose and uh, Gonzalo. So that one, uh, still got some legs in it, but uh, might might be heading in the way of a, of a decider. That's a solid clearance by Smith to move the yellow. This slides by. So a chance for England to go 4-2 here. I mean, really because of Stewart's excellent hoop run on five. Um, let's hope Ashton can convert two hoops in a row. Yeah, great shot. Smashes it through. So 4-2 to England.
¿Tenéis uno de taparía?
camera live. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a bit of a problem with um, our uh, corner two, sorry, corner one camera. It uh, just the camera keeps going to sleep and cycling through its clever functions. Um, so you keep having to touch the screen to wake it up. So occasionally, uh, unfortunately, that happens whilst we've got that camera selected. Um, beyond that technical capabilities to sort out that so we just keep having to smack the screen every now and again yeah <laughs> technical term <laughs> seems to work and so Aston is trying to clear red from him some distance away so oh. decided to go for yellow But missed. So this is an interesting one. The uh, Gonzalo can't cover yellow and the hoop, so he covers the hoop shot. Will be a long one from Stewie's dead in line, um, just beyond uh, peg high. Presumably at this point, going for yellow. Gets it. So good shot. That's a good shot, Stuart. Keeping this hoop alive. Big tussle on uh, court, court number two in the Mullen the Bilton Jose and Gonzalo match. Big battle going over there with a score at uh, uh, 6 5 to Spain. They've been playing hoop 12 for quite a while now. Trying to watch both games at the same time, and we've got um, that'll be Gonzalo, uh, possibly going for the hoop for the hoop for the for the game. He's got a, a shot of maybe uh, maybe 15 feet, taking a long time over the ball. Shoots now. Gets it. the hoop, and yes, he got it. Yes, he did. Raises his mallet in the air, gives himself some applause. No. Oh no, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Um, strange what you see from a distance. He didn't get it. He must have clanged off the side. It looked like he gave himself an. Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah. Uh, applauded his own mallet. So that berating himself. Maybe that's <laughs> what it was. Hard to tell from here. Uh, Bilton comes in right in front of hoop twelve. So back here, I mean, Spain, complete control of the hoop, but um, I don't think black can see yellow. Well, that kind of proves, proves the point. Uh, got a clearance for the wrong ball. Andres from no distance levels that levels the score at four all. Meanwhile, out of shot on the far lawn, Stephen Mumner's his trademark laying down, seeing what he can see, looking at the lie of the land. Yeah, trying to run the hoop from trying about four, yeah. four yards. So this to let this to level, and that is. A binoculars job. It's either in the jaws or it bounced off just to the side, but it didn't run the hoop. It's still difficult to tell. Yeah, I can't tell from here, can you? Okay, then we need to be up a little bit, Jonathan, and um, tap the screen. 
We're just trying to wake up our camera too. There we are. And just let that adjustment go. Okay, so we switch to the uh, that better view. So to orientate yourselves now, we're on uh, on hoop nine. Spain take, taking it to England and clearing blue, but uh, getting collateral damage and clearing red at the same time. Cameraman in corner two has um, gone for a walk, so he's left us with a, a grand shot of the Hurlingham estate, rather than being zoomed in on the cat on the uh, on the action. So I think our uh, the camera from the commentary box, which we're giving you now, is the better one. Oh, he's now zooming in. The option. Oh, he's zooming in now. Great, he's yeah. come back. So, what to do here for Manuel? Not quite sure. I don't think he can move Black. I'm not sure that Black's got a great hoop shot from there, so... Might be slightly difficult to see the colours on the, on the stream as the shadows lengthen. Now he's going to move, red's going to move blue. Both on the boundary, good shot. So black will try and take tight position. Might look at the jaws. Yes. This hoops are getting quite deep now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Being stomped on. wipe that one from the, uh, the recording and <laughs> there are rules about stamping on hoops at Erlingham. Okay, it's not the... Uh, looks better from that view. Not a disaster result. Yeah, it looks, be looks better from the, looks better than the south boundary. It's, it's actually some way off the hoop, isn't it? So yeah, so I think, so I mean, yellow, red's pretty much directly behind the hoop, so yellow needs to clear it. So yellow from corner four. And just and nudges it into not, the hoop. Not the result that he wanted. So uh, blue will take a blocking position on red. I'll just check and make sure it'll run. They're all coming to, all coming to have a look and discuss exactly that. Manuel shapes for a jump. From the boundary, I think you might just have been joking there because uh, just to give an indication to the Eng <laughs> the England boys what he's planning to do. Yes, there's just a bit of, a bit of gaming there. Yeah, he's, that's, that is in fact the only shot he's got, and I think uh, yeah, Aston sensibly has put the blue ball right up close to red. Um, We've got uh, um, our other camera, unfortunately the players are standing in the way, but the balls are only probably uh, six inches apart. I wonder whether this may so be the first time that we see Francis on a court. We'll see. I don't okay. think it needs a, a ref, but they are quite close together, those balls, they and are. if and they decide to jump... They're having, they're having a look, not, not, not assisted by having to look through, through the fence, then we can <laughs> see what he's looking at. Those balls are only about eight inches apart, so it's going to be a good jump to uh, get up and over here if he does that. I think he's or got it. He may have a line. He's yeah. got a line, but he's, he's not. He's not blocked. Okay. No. 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 He's clipped. Uh, clipped the edge of blue, so blue did enough. Bit of climbing from everybody over these perfect protective fences. I mean, um, maybe the decision was, I can't jump. All I can do is get a bit further down towards. Hoop 10, so just clip off and 
go down. I think that's yeah. probably what he did. Yeah. So, so anyway. Aston's block took that option out, didn't it? Took, took the block, uh, the jump option out. And so England, uh, England lead 5-4, this being the second game. Meanwhile, the, the battle for hoop 12 on court two continues. Yes. I mean, blue and black from this distant look to be directly in front of the hoop. Clearance from the boundary has failed, so one, it one expects that this is yeah, a hoop shot for the Biltonator from, again, from about three yards this time, yeah. to bring it to 6 all in the second with England 1-0 up in that game. The question match. here really, I suppose, is do you, do, do you, with the opposition miles away, do you run hoop 12? And uh, take your chances as second ball up to 13, or do you mess around a bit? And uh, looks like he's shaping to run it. There's no doubt in that shot. So yes, he has. Run it all the way to the boundary. Run so it all the way to boundaries. Uh, Spain will have first shot to the hoop. And it is a it is a long one, right away from the southern boundary for. Uh, for Jose, and uh, and that's a good shot. Gets a ripple of applause from the uh, Birmingham members, mainly I think at the far end, uh, up near hoop 13. So it's obviously dead in line, probably probably two and a half, two yards from the hoop, perhaps. So he's uh, he's he's done well there. So it's Mullina from uh, level with hoop 12. Going to the clearance, long range clearance, he's having a look at it and he's got it. That's a super clearance. Uh, Stephen Mulliner clears the yellow ball to the boundary. Doesn't get off the boundary himself though, so he's vulnerable to being cleared by yellow. So Spain still in the box seat over there on, uh, on, court, on uh, court two. As um, Gonzalo now plays in from the west penalty spot. And uh, showing you a distant, sh distant shot now of yeah. Are we there, right down in there in the distance? Is that, our, is that our camera? Yeah, can we zoom in any more on that? See if we can find you a, a zoom on that. Other way, keep going. That's good. Stop. Just go right slightly. So Me meanwhile, it looks like uh, just coming back to our feature game now. So, chance for well, Stuart's going to go to take it to six four for England. So Stephen taking position from miles away, just putting it up onto the north boundary in front of the hoop 13. 13. So we're trying to cover two games at the same time here. I think uh, we'll stick with uh, hoop 13. Uh, he was trying, obviously trying to clear. I'm uh, trying to clear that red. Yeah. So this for this for the game and to level uh, the the match at one game all. So this is Gonzalo. Slightly angled. Oh, thank you, madam. Just got out of way in time at the crucial moment. Yeah. And he scores it. So well played, uh, Spain. But that game over uh, on court two is levelled at one game all. So uh, that will go to the deciding match, deciding one. That's the match between Mullina and Bilton and Jose and Gonzalo. Uh, 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 the zoom on the on the top, yeah, it's on the top left left and right. Um, just flick it left and right. That's that zooming out. Yeah, that's good. That's good. 
Right, we've been left in charge of um, the commentary box camera, so we're having to move it uh, into position each time before resuming our seats. So back in our featured game, England leads 6-4, and the contest now moves to hoop 11. Just out of your shot there, match referee Francis Coleman, who's been underutilised completely, uh, save going getting the ball now and again. So referee come ball boy, ball girl probably. So I'm not sure whether Aston can see the hoop here, but you can certainly see red, so clearance on red. There was uh, Good shot. Good shot. Just loses blue, obviously, but uh, live to fight another day. Andres likes that one from uh, from Jose, and really, our England are just in a, a great big clearing fest. So your money's on Spain here. England have got a lot of work to get into back into this uh, Hoop 11. Even more so now Stuart's missed with that black. It was a close one. He looks uh, looks questioning at that one. How did that miss? He got over that. Surely Spain will just load the front of the hoop and wait for the next miss by England. And even then, we're trying to be uh, enhanced in our thinking and yellow to protect red. It's quite a compliment to uh, Aston, whose ball's stuck on the south boundary. Yeah, just stealing a march towards towards hoop 12 as well as blocking blue, so it'll be interesting to see what he's done. Um, and Aston probably debating whether to just go halfway and get ready for hoop 12. I'm just going to see whether he can see red or not. Give me a second. So Jonathan uh, has gone for a, a better lineup, and uh, we'll come back with a report of what uh, of what can be seen. Can you see Jonathan? Yeah, he can see. He, he can see red. Um, he can't get a full ball to the right of red, but he can certainly move it if he wanted to and hit a great shot. But he looks as though he's just stabbing it up to halfway. He used to get that. It does. Manuel fan makes it um, overdone that one slightly. You know, done that one quite a lot. So from that distance, he'll be disappointed with that. So he brings the score to, to uh, six five, but uh, he would have hoped for a, a better outcome there. 
Oh, we've just gone uh, to wake up our camera. Just give you that one for a moment while we sort out the other camera. Uh, get that one back on live. So Jonathan's just repositioning it. Uh, I think uh, up up to the sky, sky uh, tilted up up to the sky more. Jonathan, we're a bit low down there. Pretty good. So here we are on the uh, the contest for hoop 12. England lead. Six five. You might be moving yellow here. So just out of shot here is uh, Aston with blue, trying to clear the yellow. We think. Yes, he is. Gets a full ball, and that's a good shot. Excellent so, shot. Uh, that's an excellent shot. Clears it almost to the west boundary, uh, over towards hoop corner, corner four. England with two balls in the vicinity of the hoop. Spain uh, a little way. Not over and done yet. This hoop by any means. All the balls are in uh, clear at clearable distances and open. Yeah, but I think there's. I think. Manuel has to has to clear black here with red. Um, little option. It's a very very if he misses, it's a very easy block for block with blue, isn't there? Um, yeah, it's a great shot. Yeah, it's, it's a, a super shot. shot. Full ball. Centre ball sends Center black ball. right to the uh, right to the north boundary, centre court. Stuart will come back with these. Of course, nothing in the way, but uh, he really didn't need, need to hit that one. A bit quick, uh, Stuart. I think that's going to sail just by. Oh, not nearly. nearly. Just uh, clanged off the hoop and didn't get lucky. Seemed like it was going to be quicker than that. Meanwhile, in the background, uh, just just out of shot, um, Pedro is fashioning a sarong out of a Spanish flag. So, so the debate is where yeah, do really the move. Is to where blue goes, isn't does it? it move yellow or does it just take position, position. tight position? Red, red, sea, red sees black, red sees the hoop. Not much difference between the two. Lovely, a good result target that is, isn't it? So. Uh, Just to remind you, England leads 6 5, so um, it's Spain that need to fashion something here. England would play be more conservative. That's short. Well, that's short, you short. like that now. Woefully short, actually. Yeah. Well, so neither ball score for England. So I think. Yellow yeah, needs to run. Yeah, it needs to clear black or or run the hoop. Yeah. So it's uh, not quite a double target, but there's a big target for some kind of result. He ran the he hoop. The run the hoop. Just we switch. So he ran the hoop. So great shot. That is a great shot. So thirteenth hoop. 
Stuart's first approach with black. Uh, track, him, track him black into position. Well done, cameraman. Oh, he's got very lucky there, because so that was a bit of a bit of a heavy shot from Stuart. But in clanging the right hand, the left hand wire as he looked at it, took all the space out of it, and he ended up with quite a quite a good result given how hard he hit the shot. So uh, fortunate. So after having a good look at it, it'll be, it'll be Andres with the yellow. I think he's got to clear this, hasn't he? I, mean, I, if think, he, I think he has. Yeah. Yeah. If he misses, he's going to have a hoop shot. But He's on the boundary with a hoop shot, as you say. No, and of course he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> okay, so that's some, a bit of something and nothing, really, isn't it? I'd, you want to either, a, I suppose, going there. He, if black, uh, blue does well. Black can't clear. Yellow far. You end up with a bit of a fight out of it. But uh, that's not a great result from Spain, seeing as they had. Uh, oh no, England has England had first advantage, didn't they? Well, a good tight position here. Um, well, it's going to be quite deep. Yeah. Come on. Safe. It's very deep. Yeah. So Manuel coming out of view, he's about six yards south of hoop 12. Um, he's taking position now. Just see the red ball come into view soon. I think looking to clear black. Having a look at it, so through the through between between yellow and and black. So. What has Stuart Smith got? He's, uh, he's got the hoop shot, he's coming up confidently to that. This for the game and the match. Great hoop. Well done, Stuart. So, uh, England 6 7, won the first game, sorry, 7 6, won the first game 7 5. That's a match to England which levels the. the uh, Levels, levels the uh, the test at two matches each. As we lose uh, Jonathan Smith, uh, sorry, Jonathan Powell, just walked past the camera there. He's coming back the other way. There he goes. Uh, Jonathan's our manager of this uh, second test, so he'll be uh, down chivying the players on. I'll just disable the commentary for a moment and uh, leave you to uh, the, the shot you see the shot you're seeing here is just uh, it's just Anders saying uh, I would have scored that if you hadn't so that's a confidence builder for him and I'll just delay delay they will disable the commentary until we've got uh, a little more action the only game in progress at the moment is a deciding game on court two between Bilton and Mulliner and Jose and Gonzalo Alvaro Sala. It's in its very early stages. Uh, the score is, there's no score at all. So one game all, still contesting the first two. Commentary to continue shortly.
Good evening, viewers. Just to say that, um, unfortunately, that's the end of our coverage for today. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to be streaming live again uh, from around 9.15 tomorrow morning, so uh, do join us then. Um, we have a full day of singles, uh, which we're going to be covering. Bye for now.